Aha! Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It's the late night stream, and we have more Tag Team GX that just arrived in the mail. So you can see we have these lovely fresh boxes all sealed up. Uh, probably every single one of these has the golden Charizard in it. So we'll be popping them all open. I'm very excited. Let's get this phone fixed. There we go. Hello, mister. What's up, Tony Pepperoni? Mister, you got any shiny star? Do you guys like the title? <laughs> you got any shiny star? Mesto. Toss it over here. What's up, Donnie? Danny? Is it Danny? Might be Danny. Getting out some penny sleeves ahead of time. Oh, mister. What's up? Put this over here. Ooh, I should have got more bags. Leanhard and Gary has collab video. Watch it or Google it. It only takes hours. Sorry about your back, mister. I hope it feels better soon. Oh, man. My back felt worse after the daytime stream from just two hours of sitting down. So it's definitely in recovery mode. Uh, I'm all hopped up on painkiller. I got oxycodone. Uh, I didn't actually get an order of it from like a doctor or anything. I actually just had some left over from the past. Uh, I had like a root canal. What was it like? A little over half a year ago, right? Probably longer than a half a year ago. Yeah, it was almost a full year ago. Anyways, I had like a I had like a bottle of that left over. So I took a pill of that and I feel all high on it right now. <laughs> so actually not that much back pain, which is nice. But uh but now I feel sleepy. It's weird. That's oxycodone for you. How much is an amazing rare Celebi? 50 bazillion, mister. I can get you one right now. Let me see if uh, let me know if you want me to put you down for it. So here's a Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. It's the beautiful Mewtwo. I went ahead and snatched one of these off the interwebs. Uh, and I snatched it off the interwebs for maybe our large. Speaking of the large, the Charizard large will probably go off tonight. Hold on, give me a second. Where are my sleeves? Oof, here's one. Oof. Okay. There he is. What's up, Vega? Hey, mister. Yeah, so we have another one of these, and we can put this in the large. I ordered it just because people wanted one, and I was like, okay. Put this very expensive Blastoise away. This belongs to Stark's Assassin. I'm going to put this Gyarados up top, finally. So that's ready to be sent off to PSA. Ooh, I need to do some PSA work. Everdread Ship. We did that one already. Poke Kobe. He donated this to Quip. This is Ninja Breads. Okay, so let me place this here for now. Little Doe. Little Doe got this whole bag from Tenzenberg. I think she got this from Tenzenberg. And we're going to put this up top. My girl banned me. Did you say she banned you? Ooh, this is not going to fit, huh? So that's why I haven't put this away. Well, maybe we ship this early. What do we got back here? We got Trico. Yeah, he needs to go in the ship. Not the ship, in the PSA box as well. So he can be sent off to PSA and get a terrible grade. <laughs> Thoughts on Shiny Star V. How's it going, Mr. B? Um, It's probably going to be popular. It's got Charizard in it. <laughs> hey, mister, what's your favorite... NFL team. Um, favorite NFL team? That's a good question. I don't know. Alex says, rip. Woo. Okay. So I already know. Uh, let's see. What name was he going by? I think he's going by a nickname. Is he going by a nickname? Hold on. Might be Lawler. Yeah. So Lawler, he wants three vivid voltage and one hidden face. Let's go ahead and grab that for him real fast. How much will Shiny Star V-Packs be? Uh, 50 bazillion. He says, that's an instant no invest. I need one unis. Where am I keeping you, my unified minds? Oh, man, they're over there. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mister Card Connors, what's your favorite soccer team? Um, the one that hits the ball really well. Did you check the mail? I brought the mail in. I haven't opened it all, though. I think I saw your bag. Where is the tag, not the tag team, where is the Hibben Fates? Here it is. Hibben Fates. The 
a set that just keeps on giving. Kitty, I ain't never seen two pretty best Charizards. <laughs> Kitty's on the couch. She's watching. <laughs> Do I still have the Misty card? That's right. Woohoo! But don't tell Quip. She deleted the app off my phone and iPod. Oh my god. Mister, that's a toxic relationship. <laughs> I'm kidding. Honey, no. I'm I'm a very important mod. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Of course you are. It's a joke. Mr. Card, how do I get my cards graded? Uh, you send it off to a grading company. How's it going, Diego? Sleep. Hey, Mr. What do you think of the new, sh new shiny set? It's great. Woohoo! He says it went down just like that. You're going to have to choose, Ninja Bread. Do you want to be a moderator or do you want this girlfriend? I don't know. She sounds like she's no good, mister. You got a real career over here. Let's see what we got. Three, four. Oh, man. Greninja Pinsir right off the bat. What a great start. Did you see that? That was for Lawler. Woohoo! Making sure the door's locked. <laughs> My wife comes out, comes out here just to make sure that the front door's locked. She's funny. If anyone tries to bust through that door, I'll beat him up. Hand to hand combat. Pick a peck. More like pick a smack. Got him. Move this over here. Oh no, man. There's no more room on this desk. This is really bad. There's no more room on this desk. What do I do about it? Here we go. Got him. Oh no, dude. There is no more room. Ooh, or beetle. You're going to get abducted by an, a ladybug. Is that the Minecraft soundtrack? Um, That's Linkin Park, mister. But in the end, if robbers ever come to your house, they will probably never take your cars because they won't know how much they are worth. If robbers ever come, come to my house, I will personally chop their little heads off. And I won't even feel sorry. Dude, that was a hot round, Lawler. Congratulations. The reverse hollow Charizard came out. Very good. That's a gradable card. Awesome. Toss this over here. Woohoo! And now Lawler, does he already have a bag? I don't know if Lawler has a bag. Lawler, let me know if this is your first bag. He says, no, I don't. All right, here we go. First bag. Welcome to the Pokey live stream. You had a very good start. See, the trick is to quit now, Lawler, before your wallet goes empty. <laughs> you had your good round. Now, quick, run away. It's too late. The Pokey tendrils are reaching up. There you go, mister. Which grading company is the best to send my cards to? Um, the one that you prefer. Woohoo! Man, these answers are easy. Give me a difficult question. Like shaved or unshaved? Obviously shaved. All right, we're jumping over to activity. Bestool. Ooh, I'm going to have a drink. Penguins or polar bears? Here we go. This is the good stuff. Uh, definitely polar bears because they eat penguins. That makes them better. What do I do with all my bulk? I give it to you, Donnie. Danny. Is it Donnie or Danny? All right. Next up, we've got... Is it Moshud? Two Japanese tag team all-stars, please. I already have a bag. All right. Woohoo! Reach over and grab one of these. What are those? Penguin says, hello, hello. Toss this down here. Tag Team All-Stars. By the way, guys, here's that Charizard Custom Booster Pack game. Here are the spots that are remaining. 
you can see we're on the last third of the card. So we're pretty close to sending this guy off to one of you. Who will win? Who will pull the chase? It's a good question. So I'll leave that up so you can take a look at it and go, ooh, I don't know if I should grab one or not. <laughs> wow, just sent in something like two minutes ago and there's a line already. That's right. <laughs> I would rather have that Charizard than your bulk. What time is it for you? Because it's like 2 a.m. over here. It is 12.44 a.m. for me, almost 1 a.m. My goal is to have a two-hour live stream and then uh, hop off to bed. So I'm already a little bit tired. Yeah, I'm already a little bit tired. Bet you want a difficult question. So what's the best pizza in the world? Best pizza in the world? Anchovy pizza. What do we have here? Ooh, I love this Dusk Noir. What a great card, man. Really nice. I'm a fan of Dusk Noir. He doesn't get used in a lot of the tournaments, though. The Dusclops gets used, which I like the Dusclops, too. Dus Dusclops looks so cool. He look He's literally a mummy, right? All right, hold on. I'm going to try and make some more space on my table. This is really terrible. The way what I have right now is just terrible. Trying to make some space. All right. <sighs> Jesus. So let's find your bag. Let's find your bag. Um, is it Mashoud? Mashoud. Marco, Matt, Nerdy Noob, Nash, Mike, Nate. I don't think anyone's past Nate. No one knew is past Nate. So that would mean you're over here. Do you already have a bag, mister? Important question. Yes, you do. You're right here. All right. Look at that, Trevenant. Who's next? It's Gregory, it's GJM Rocker. One pack of Evo, one tag team, all stars. All right. Mister, you make me buy Pokemans. I know, where's the Pokemans? Pokemans? You don't have one. Underrated 1K? What's an underrated 1K mean? Sneep. Excuse me. I said, what's the best Japanese set? Uh, I would get the Japanese equivalent to Steam Siege. All right, here we go. Hey, Mr. Chick-fil-A or Raising Cane's. Uh, they're both pretty good, actually. So you don't have to choose between them. You just have whichever one has the shorter line. What's the best burger in the world to you? Um, the McDonald's Nasty Burger. It's drowsy. Woohoo! We did it! That's an off-center drowsy, too. That's really a cold pull. Pikachu, maybe? Here's a Pikachu non-hollow. We prefer the secret rares. Secret rares make the monies. Now, how about this? That's right. Travis Scott Burger for the win. There's a Mew. So you got a Mew in your pack. Mew and another Trevenon, huh? Weird. Back to back. I guess that's the thing. They named a burger after me. It's called the Cheese Burger. <laughs> What's the name of the pack you just opened? That's the Tag Team All-Stars pack. We open it up for GJM Rocker. He's rocking hard. He's rocking out with his sock out. Okay, put this over here. Woohoo! Wow, I'm tired, man. It's the end of the night. <laughs> Late night stream indeed. You know, I was laying in bed with my wife. We were hanging out watching some TV. Maybe I should have been doing the live stream then. Because I am sleepy. Is there a Japanese version of base set? Yes. Mister, do 10 push-ups. I would do 10 push-ups for 10 bucks. Let's see, activity. What I though? I already did. I did push-ups this morning, by the way. Terp says, Mister, you have Generations ETBs, right? They are underrated, to be honest. I do not have Generations. Um, just not that interested in that set. I saw it, and I was like, nah. Is there a Japanese version of Pokemon? I know, right? Okay, let's see. And that's it. We're all caught up. So... Fill this Charizard base set up, guys. I know there's one person who really wants it filled up quickly because they're excited to see if they win. Let me jump over here and grab a piece of mail. 
from cheese. Let me reveal cheese address by putting it on the screen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mister, are you stocked or a 40-pack XY Evo if I place it? Maybe. Uh, I can check real fast. Who's asking that? Somebody serious or somebody just messing? Casper the ghost. I don't know if I have exactly 40. I might have closer to like 30. If I opened up a ton of those Jirachi boxes, I'd probably hit 40. Ooh, look at these free Pokemon from Cheese. We got a beautiful Dark Magneton First Edition and a Flareon No Symbol 8. Now, I owe him some monies. Cheese, let me get you those monies. Man, I feel, like, dizzy from that painkiller. What the hell? That's way too strong. That's way too strong. I'm, like, drunk. All right, I'm jumping over here. Jeez, I'm just going to send the cash straight over to you because I can't be asked to do, like, refunds. It's too much work. Paying for a goods and service? Hmm. It's weird. It doesn't give me a friends and family option. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and send it. That's what I was going to do. I was just going to send it that way, but it doesn't actually give me the option. That's weird. Let me know if it charges you a fee. Jeez, I'm curious. Because it gave me the option to click goods and service, but I didn't click it. All right, cheese, the money's out. Thank you so much for the Pokemans. Pokemons. Okay, let's see what's next. Mister, if I join the largest, there are only one winner. That's correct. Well, there's technically two winners. One person will win the large. Another person will win, uh, well, two more people will win spots in the Tenzin box. It's the Tenzin box. Saying hi, day one. Mr. Loves Free Pokemons. That's right. <laughs> how did you? How did we get these? Did I grade these, Cheese? Did I grade these or did I just happen to have them? I feel like I graded them. I wish this is a nine. Ah, well. We'll put them in the box. Put the lime in the coconut. He says, I won them in the energy lotto. Dude, that was a long time ago. Holy cow, man. The energy lotto. What a long time ago that was. Mr. Card, which pack has best rainbow rare? Because I've never gotten one and need one. What? You've never gotten a rainbow rare, huh? The best rainbow rare... <laughs> That's a great question. The best rainbow rare, huh? I would say Champion's Path, actually. You know, there's the Vivid Voltage, Pikachu. Um, Champion's Path. If you're talking about Sword and Shield, if you're talking about the Sun and Moon, um, I would say a first edition Charizard from Burning Shadows. But since you're probably not going to get that, maybe the... Um, Gosh, maybe the Unbroken Bonds Charizard? So, Unbroken Bonds Charizard from Sun and Moon. Charizard VMAX from Champion's Path. Evolutions, Fire Thoughts, Quick. Damn, he's making bank from the large. But yeah, we're gonna, well, we're going to sell that PSA 5 Charizard. I want to make sure I'm making bank on a Charizard. So good. I'm sipping my nums. Yeah, right here. This is what's in the large. So you're getting a base set PSA 5 unlimited Charizard. 
Ha! I got you with the difficult question. Got him. I'm just a little slower right now. Two hours from now, I'm going to be in bed sleeping like a baby. So I'm not like, you know, I'm not like I just woke up and crisp and all that. <laughs> okay, Big T Exotic would like two spots in medium. Big T. There you go, mister. Nick Boo, what's up, Nick Boo? He wants a Hidden Fates and a Japanese Tag Team All-Star. We got the Tag Team All-Star. And we got the Hidden Fates. Mister, did that Oxy give you an itchy nose? <laughs> Uh, I don't even, I think I, 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 I did read about how people get high on oxycodone, codeine or whatever. And uh, they don't necessarily snort it through their nose. I hear that they'll crush it up as a powder and put it under their tongue as well. I was like, interesting. I read about drugs even though I don't do them. It's, it's fun. I read about drugs. All right, here we go. I live vicariously. What do we got? Absol, Vol Volker oh, that's the Jirachi, man. That's the Jirachi. I've got one right over here in English. Check it out. Play set there. See? There's the English version. Huh. They're very uh, similar. Take a look at that, guys. Cool. Place this over here. Septile. Woohoo! Except the Japanese is a nice card. I think they both look nice. The English cards sell for more, so I wouldn't bash the English cards. I don't bash either of them. It's not a competition, except that it always is. <laughs> Lost Thunder Septile. Lost Thunder, man. You want that Septile? All right, I'm sending it right over to Nick Boo. <laughs> Got him. Nick Boo, let's find your bag. So tell me how your day was, guys. It's nighttime. How's life? Who's got rumors? Who's got gossip? You know I love gossip. Tell me some tell me something shocking. Who's having who's making babies with whom? PSA doesn't accept Chinese cards. Is that real? I've never tried. Yeah, they do. You're lying to me. Well, all you guys want to talk about is Pokemon cards? Lame. What is this, like a Pokemon card channel? Is this Nick Boo right here? Here it is, Nick Boo. Open eight vivid voltage ETBs today in all trash hollows. Ooh, that sucks, man. It was wigged. I'm talking to a cute girl right now. I'm really into her, and she's really into me. Oh, young love. <laughs> Mister, ever get queefed on your face? <laughs> if you've never been, if you've never gotten the anchovy, the anchovy balloon poot right in your mouth, right in your open mouth, have you really lived? Have you really made it with a woman if you've never gotten that mouthful, that little poof, that little mmm, mmm, mm, mm. anchovies, delicious. Delish. Tastes like my pizza. The what? Have you really lived? I mean, you don't even have to try. I mean, you could be down there and you just pucker up and you just go, like you've got a balloon in front of you, right? And you just go, like that. You just blow it. And then you get the, the puff comes back out, that anchovy puff. The little, you know, the little anchovy puff. It's like, ah, glorious, man. Glorious. Smell in the ocean and more. And more. Mmm. All right, let's get this put back. <laughs> Charizard large. Charizard. You haven't really lived if you haven't done it, guys. Mom, Mr. TCC is talking about stepsis. <laughs> I'm the only female here. We got a few girls. More than my gaming channel. The gaming channel is a sausage fest, man. But we actually get some girls over here. Mr. TCC off it tonight. That's because I'm high on the oxycodone. When I have a kid, I'm buying him or her a pack of Pokemons. 
My husband's coming out to visit Tamar from California. We'll be married 34 years on Sunday. Sunday. Wow, that's uh, that's really cool. I think it's um, that's an accomplishment, really. I think it's hard for people to stay together for so long. It is. It's um, so easy to break up. So easy to be like, all right, I'm out of here. Frick this. Oxy got him talking. How's it going, Kyle? Welcome, welcome. He says, what game was that? That's the large, okay? The large. My husband coming out of the closet says, geez. Did someone just pull that Pico or that's from the other day? That's Ninja Bread's. Did I ship Ninja Bread and I forgot his Pikachu? Did Ninja Bread order live shipping and I didn't ship the Pikachu? I'm looking forward to delivering the anchovies. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I left his, I think I left his Pikachu on the table. What do you get out of the medium and small? So the medium, you can like pick a Pokemon set, you know, whatever booster packs you want. And I'll tell you how many packs you get. Different different sets, you get more packs. <clears throat> That's because some are more expensive than others, obviously. So if you want like Rebel Clash, you can have a whole box of it. Uh, if you want Cream Siege, you can have a whole box of Cream Siege. Uh, but if you want Hidden Fates, I can only do like six packs of Hidden Fates. Russ says, oh no. <laughs> what? Azur has got the eyes out. <laughs> All right, let's do a refresh on the PayPal's. I know, we just started. Let's see if we got some activity. Maybe I should start using two forms of uh, payment, you know what I mean? Do you have any shiny star? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, nope, we got a little chill moment. So I tell you what, since we're not sure if Ninja Bread was supposed to have that Pibs at you, I think he was though. Let's go look up Ninja Bread. Oh, man. Oh, we do got to ship that Pibs at you off to him. Okay, that's sad. That's rough, man. How shall I do it? <laughs> Super duper express shipping. Mom said you had the shiny star V. Do you watch or listen to podcasts? Do I watch or listen to podcasts? No, uh, I don't really have a lot of time. Actually, I, I do watch some television with my wife the, the last week I have because I changed my schedule to be able to spend more time with her. Uh, we, we just finished watching the British version of The Office and we loved it. We just finished it tonight, kind of binge watched it. It's, it's so similar to the American version, and yet subtly different, certain differences. I just put it in my baggie, no pro problem solved, says Azur. Yeah, there's some subtle differences, and um, it ended so well. It, it's, it's definitely different from the American version. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch the whole thing. All right, let me go ship this. There's gonna be some loud noises. You gonna hear some noise? Ooh, I might be able to use this right here, actually. You're going to hear some noise. So cover up your eardrums. You're going to hear the tape go off. important card he's gonna be like so I got my cards where did you put my uh, Pikachu that's the one I wanted oh sorry ninja bread I kept it because I wanted to that's my favorite card too have I hit a good pa oh a god pack not yet not yet we're looking for a god pack and we're looking for a gold Pokemon okay let's see I say we just cancel this live stream and we go live on the actual Pokemon game. Let's go ahead and print this. Do you think the prices of the Champions Path of Zards will go back up? Oh yeah. Very confident in that, in fact. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I'm yawning, man. These are anytime. 
these nighttime streams actually feel like nighttime streams for me now. <laughs> I'm not like waking up, you know what I mean? I'm not like starting my day anymore at the beginning of the night. It's actually nighttime for me. I'm actually tired. <laughs> Some people are selling theirs for 850 to 900. I think they'll regret it, maybe. It's a complicated thing. All right, well, let's jump over here. I guess if nobody orders a pack, I'll be forced to open all my vintage. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I'll go get my rocket pack right now. Oh, we do have some stuff to open. Okay, cool. My girlfriend broke out with me. Says Mayo Nava York. How's it going, Mayo? How did it end? Tell us. Give us the details. Whose fault was it? How long were you together? Was she pretty? Do you think you could do better? And to my eye says, would you ever consider selling vintage packs? Uh, we sold some vintage packs just the other day. And, uh, yeah, we'll offer some, I think we'll offer some vintage packs again. People seem to really like it. Here we go. What do we got? We got an order from Santana Zuniga, but he doesn't, he doesn't tell us what it is he wanted. Santana, could you tell us what it is you wanted? Maybe he said it in, wait, here goes. My first order. I think this is him. Let's see. Give me a second. <laughs> That's got to be him, yeah. Okay. And he says he wants two tag team all-star packs. Is there any way I can keep my book? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you your book tonight. Let's do it. It's your first order. Let's get you your book tonight. But keep in mind, normally no book, okay? Let me jump over here. You just joined. What's up, Amber? I had a girlfriend named Amber a long time ago. My best friend got my girlfriend. Really? You're not just making this up, are you? Your best friend? You know, I never had that happen. But uh, I, I guess that's kind of a common thing, isn't it? Tell you what, man. Let me take these off. These uh, not-so-shiny ones. Let me toss those to the side. Let me send you these, okay? Because these are the shiny ones. Okay, and of course, this is the value, the valuable one. This is the GX. What's this over here? We got another little pile. Mewtwo, Cartana, Buzzwool, Psychic Energy, and Magnazone. Yeah, Magnazone's okay. I really like Magneton better. I don't know why. Magnazone's design's not... There's nothing wrong with it. I just have nostalgia for Magneton. Okay, there we go. So in the future, if you would like to keep all your bulk, uh, you can use live shipping for, for like the that just that live stream or you can get a book box and for like two weeks every time you order cards i'll put all your book in your box my name is junior your name's junior all right junior i'm not gonna remember that okay let's get that cute to dene in the front feeling cute might post later thanks for making your first purchase man taking the time to figure it out very cool. There you go. The other thing is, when you make an order, be sure to leave a message so that I understand the order, okay? And you need to choose goods and services. You can't choose, you can't choose friends and family because, you know, we're not actually friends and family. You're actually buying a good. <laughs> okay. He says, thank you, Shameless UK is crazy. Oh, he says, try Shameless UK is crazy. What? Okay. Next up, we got Gene. What's up, Gene Hyatt? He says, three packs of the Tag Team All-Stars. You got it, Gene. One, two, three. You put card in the card sleeve. So clean. Oh, thanks, man. We're not friends. What? He says, okay, I'll remember that next time. Super. My wife left me today, says Geek Machine. Wow. Everyone's breaking up. Why do I feel like you're just saying that? Okay, here we go. 
pull an Ultra Necrozma. Next pack. Ooh, you got the Full Art Energy. Lucky. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. My son Roman says hi. How's it going, Roman? Do you like the Pokemons? If you ever want to open Pokemons, uh, Pokemons, Roman, you got to say, Mom, get the credit card. My dad broke up with me. Jeez, no. Do, 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 do. I just bought a house, mister. Super excited. All right, Danny. Glad to hear that. Now you're a proud uh, debt owner. <laughs> you're a debt slave. Get to work. Pay that mortgage. All right, Gene, let's find your bag. Should I buy ETB? ETB. Gene Hyatt. It's Bird, Gang Job, Gerard, Heap, Gilbert, Hi Faye, Gengar Guy, Grimy Shark. What's up with all these guys who order like one time? They never tell me to ship their cards and they never return. I could I could fill a whole box just with those kind of bags. Let's see, Gene, maybe you're up top. Oh, here we are. Gene's not one of those guys. Gene, he comes back. And when Gene's done, he says, send my cards out. How many spots left in the medium? That's a mystery. Who knows? Okay. We'll go ahead and refresh the PayPal's. Please. What? Do you watch Dragon Ball Z? Nope. All right, we'll jump over here. What if that was how I hosted the live stream? I only answered with yes and no's. Please show me put. Shout you put. Okay, I'm shouting you put. Put. Next up we have... It's... This is Shang Dang. He says, can, you, can I do a round of Rebel Clash and Vivid Voltage plus live shipping? All right, we got some live shipping. It's cool. Shang Dang, huh? It sounds like you might already have a bag. Tiger Boy T. Oh, is that my cat making that noise? Shang Dang. He says, this is Shang Dang. Dang. Silver light. No bag. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You got me. You made it sound like you already had one. Rebel Clash, huh? Where's my Rebel Clash? One, two, three, four, five. Whoop. All right. <laughs> I can't believe how tired I am. I'm like fighting the sleepiness. Sleep. The codes are back. There's codes in Shiny Star V. Mistle. Vivid Voltage is worth it? Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Vivid Voltage is all right. Um, I think the problem with Vivid Voltage is there was so much hype around Vivid Voltage that it came out overpriced. Yeah, it launched overpriced. And so now you're spending money on Vivid Voltage and instead of saving up and buying a first edition rocket pack. All right, here we go. Let's see what you got. I want some free Pokemons. Metagross Milsery. I love Vivid. Cards are beautiful. I think Mr. is mad he didn't buy enough. Oh, oh you don't know how much I bought. <laughs> you don't know. My Vivid Voltage arrived yesterday. Ooh, look at this Raikou. Bitch, you don't know nothing about me. Here we go. We got Raikou. You don't know nothing. Snover, do you have, do I have a life? No. Boss's Orders. Hell yeah, dude. That's one of the best cards from Rebel Clash. Beautiful, mister. Man, I need one of these freaking Boss's Orders. I don't have a Boss's Orders. This is like, we got the little R for the icon on this channel. That's a rocket R. I don't got boss. I don't got Boss's Orders from Rebel Clash. What am I doing with my life? Dude, that's, that's one of the top cards from this set. You're doing well. And Dragapult V, all in five packs, huh? 
So that was a fantastic order for you. You got the Raikou from Vivid, Boss's Orders Full Art from Rebel Clash. Really nice, dude. We like to see that. Okay. Ooh, I know, right? He says, yay, my first pack order. Some people get their first pack order with me, and it's cold. <laughs> I try to help them out. Um, but yeah, sometimes they order, and it's completely cold. You're having the other side of the luck. You're having completely hot pulls. What's up, Brian? Brian Locke. We got Brian Locke, and we got Adam Smith. <laughs> Okay, now let me go ahead and confirm your address. I hope you're watching. So, Shang Dang, huh? And it says your address starts with... Uh, your address starts with 1000, is that right? 1000. Let me know. John Locke, that's right. He knows what I'm referencing. Thank you, Shang Dang. All right. He is an important, important guy. Just like Adam Smith was an important guy. If you guys haven't read about him, you need to. All right, let's go ahead and print. That has some fantastic ideas about things. Face reveal. Now, you don't want it to see my face. It's too beautiful, you'll cry. Let's see, where is... I'm going to grab some of this bubble wrap down here. When I have extra bubble wrap, I like to use it right away. Sword and Shield High Class is so expensive. 10 packs for $80. What set do you think is your favorite? Team Rocket. Team Rocket. Blasting off again, of course. All right. Let's get this shipped. Hold your eardrums. Here comes the tape. Here comes the tape, everyone. It's going to be real loud. All right. One of my envelopes. And I'm out of envelopes. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm getting some envelopes. through these envelopes so fast. Crazy. Got a lamp for the standing desk now. One more piece of tape, guys. One more piece. Hold your eardrums. Have you guys been watching the mail time videos? Mail time. I try to talk about a fun relative subject. Relevant, I mean, not relative. Relevant. We're talking about price changes in modern cards and how they kind of fluctuate. There's a pattern to it. There we go. Toss this over here. Okay, your ship, Chang Dang. Who's next? Adam Smith, five Steam Siege. Heck yeah. You ready? Look at that, guys. Steam Siege. You could say it's gathering some steam. Yuck, 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 yuck. Gathering some steam. Do you have Break Evolution cards? He says, how much is the Team Rocket set? So cheap. He says, always ready. Tape reminds me of hair waxing. <laughs> I love working with the tape dispenser. When I was a kid working for my dad, that was my main job was shipping. And I just always feel so comfortable working in shipping. Here we go. 
So let's see what you get, mister. When you guys order Steam Siege, I always keep the hollow foils for you, just because Steam Siege is special that way. So we've got Cla Cla Itzer. Am I saying that right? I never really played with that Pokemon. He must have come out when I was not playing the game. <laughs> you got Clang and Kling Clang. That's cool. Are the custom booster packs worth it? I mean, uh, it's just an option. Just an option. It's up to you to determine if you think it's worth it. Not everyone walks away with the win. Some people do. It's kind of like crowdfunding if you think about it. You know, there's everyone chips in, but only one person pulls the card. It's based on RNG. And you hope that you win, but you don't always win. You could be like Tensburg and uh, miss out on the Charizard. Jump Pluff! Woohoo! Oh, wow, those were all green, dude. I'm sorry, Adam Smith. Litleo. They are when you win, exactly. They're definitely worth it when you win. So just like, for example, with this Charizard, a lot of people, almost everyone here is going to lose $23. Almost everyone. One person, let's say this guy right here on 36 He's going to get this card for 23 bucks. So, <laughs> and he's going to walk away with a big smile on his face. He's going to go, yes, yes. Or he's going to go, mom, I did it. I pulled the Charizard. So almost everyone on that list is going to walk away with nothing. And one guy is going to walk away with the Charizard for 23 bucks. And that's how it works. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. Mayo says, no way. He says, I didn't put down 30, 23. Did I say 36? Do you have any shiny star V? That's right. So let's get this into your bag, mister. Toss that there. Who's next? It's Nick Boo. He says, two more hibs. You got it, Nick. Nick from Nickelodeon. What are the turnaround times for PSA? Very, very long turnaround times. If you happen to have used Express, which is very expensive, the turnaround times are very fast. All right, here we go. It's Farfetch'd and Giovanni's Exile. Now my hibs, says Marco. <laughs> All your hibs. All your hibs are mine. Three, four. And a Metal Energy. Okay, so just the full art Giovanni this time. That could grade a 10, I guess. What do you think that would be worth? Should I invest in myself or Pokemon? <sighs> That's a tricky question. It sounds like a, sounds like a trick question. Let me tell you what you shouldn't do. Um, you shouldn't spend all your money on things that you only consume and then it's gone forever. For example, you know... You could eat a really healthy meal every day with potatoes and cabbage and chicken, home-prepared rice, lots of home-prepared meals you can cook for very cheap. Or you can be like me and order chicken nuggets on DoorDash and pay the DoorDash fee and pay the DoorDash driver tip and pay the price of fast food. Uh, and then you have less money at the end of the day to buy something like a Pokemon card. And the nice thing about Pokemon cards is you can enjoy them and then you can resell them. And sometimes when you go to resell them, they actually sell for more money than you bought them for. So that's the nice thing about Pokemon cards. That's why sometimes people will refer to them as alternative assets, kind of like gold coins or silver coins. But you got to be careful with the way you, you think about that. Because if you're buying some modern cards, they don't always go up in price is what I've learned. They, it takes a while for them to go up in price, you know, because they're modern. Whereas um, if you're buying, in, in my opinion, if you're buying, let's say, uh, an old vintage card is pretty safe. You're going to get all your money back out and there's a fair chance that it goes up in price. So you got to be, you got to be careful. Let's go find Nick's bag. All right. Nick, Nick, Nick. Here he is. Nick Boo. When you order 10 times, you should get a 20, 20 piece meal. What? Have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. That's one of my favorite holidays, by the way, is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and Christmas are my two favorite holidays, if you guys didn't know that. Do you think the Pokemon crazy is starting to die down? Nah, I... Here's the thing. There's everyone who thinks it was just Logan Paul. 
they don't understand that the reason Logan Paul jumped in and other people jumped in is because they saw how fast the price of the cards were already moving. So what's going on is you get these like rich YouTubers like Leonhardt who make tons of ad revenue and they just keep nailing these old packs and keep opening them up. It doesn't matter to them because they just sell the cards when they get out, when they pull them out of the pack, they sell them off to get all their money back. And then they get all this ad revenue. So you get these old packs that are just getting destroyed by YouTubers. Uh, and this is causing people to become more aware of the cards. And they're like, yeah, I want one of those. But also it turns out some cards are really rare. So the price of these cards are going up and they were going up way before Logan Paul stepped onto the scene and all these influencers did. I just don't see them going back down. And especially when you look at baseball cards, you should see how expensive baseball cards are. They make the Pokemon cards look cheap in comparison. And that's because you got all these 60 year old men trading baseball cards. They got a bunch of money, maybe older even, you know. Uh, there's like firms out there that help uh, give you consultation on investing in baseball cards. So I think that Pokemon cards, from my point of view, they're in their, sort of like their infancy of becoming a really, val well, we're probably past that point. Maybe we're like in, in the midpoint, but they're, they're becoming this sort of like much more serious thing. And there's big money being moved around, like for the Charizard 10s and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, let me show you one. Yeah, there's firms for consultation on investing. How do modern baseball cards do? I don't think they do as well, but there's still a whole game to it. You know what I mean? This is a great example of a very investable card from my point of view. He's from one of the original sets. He's 21 years old, first edition. According to this number I wrote on the back, there's only 67 tens in the world. That's, that's like really rare. I've had people ask me if they can buy this. I was like, no. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I got some good offers at some point. I've, I've never had like a like a price offer. I've just had people ask if they can buy it. And I just tell them flat out I'm not interested. So this card's, this card's actually quite rare to have a pristine Snorlax from uh, Jungle. So this is what I would call uh, an alternative asset. It's like a gold coin, right? Mr. Burn that card and make it rarer. Oh, somebody else hopefully will. <laughs> All right, next up we have GMAC. Two Sun and Moon base sets, one winning spot in the medium. All right. GMAC on number four. You can do well with the modern cards too. I should show you guys my modern card collection. You guys want to see my modern card collection? Sun and Moon base set. All right, let's go grab the Sun and Moon base set. What would I sell it for today? What would I sell it for today? I would I would trade that Snorlax for a sealed, authentic box of Jungle. Uh, and the odds of actually grading a Snorlax 10 out of a box of Jungle is very low. It's like 12% or something like that. It's, it's very low. And that's why I would trade it for a whole box because I probably will not get it back out of the box. Uh, even that is probably low. But the thing is, I would probably keep the box sealed. So that's the only reason why I'd consider the box. I don't think I want cash for it. I don't really care for cash. Here we go. Two rounds of Sun and Moon base set. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How much for Rainbow Rare Charizard? Would I should hate for an empty box? Yes. My friend has the Dragonite and Ditto chilling in a binder. Yeah, uh, he can send them into grade. They'll probably not be tens, though. That's the thing. It's hard to pull tens. It is hard to pull tens. I think PSA especially grades those cards very strictly. Wants to make sure that they don't create, like, an inflation in the population. I pulled some amazing rares and a secret from Vivid Voltage. What? Are they worth grading? That's a great question. Maybe I'll save that for my next mail time video. The short answer is no, they're not. They're not worth grading if they're not a 10. That's Norlax PSA 10 on eBay right now, $210. <gasps> I'm going to go grab them. <laughs> you used to be able to grab the PSA 10 Japanese version of him for that cheap. Yeah, that's why I bought two of them. 
What's the chase card in base sun and moon? <sighs> the lily is. The lily is the best card out of the sun and moon packs, followed by, I think, the Umbreon? Here we go. It's a really nice set. Lily and Umbreon. What's up, Lucario? How's it going, mister? We got Cloyster. What does Cloyster remind you of? Hmm. Who was working on Cloyster at that time? Probably a guy. He says, it was a nice set. Can you ask me a question? No. We got Brion and... My oh, hold on. Hold up. GMAC has a box. GMAC. I think Cloyster is about to give you some of that anchovy breath. Put that over there. That's a greenback. We'll just double check. Nothing. Kitty, what are you doing? Come on, kitty. Ooh, look at this lovely Lapras. You forget this card is in here. It's such a nice card. And if you look, at, it looks very well centered. Do you see the centering on it? That looks really nice. Yeah, that might have a clean shot at a 10. Not even any white, white dots on the corners. Hmm. Real nice. You got any Spanish cards? You probably do. Uh, I have zero Spanish cards. I apologize. Did you know... Oops. Did you know on top of your head how much a PSA 10 Shiny Charger and Champions Path goes for? Uh, $2. Woohoo! Man, I'm smart. <laughs> we were just talking about the most valuable card in Sun and Moon base set, and GMAC just pulled it along with this perfectly centered Lapras. That's the Lily. So the Lily card goes for a lot of money. Congratulations, GMAC. <laughs> I think that round just made you some money, GMAC. Because that might, that might grade a 10. How's this one looking? Oh, man. It looks so good down here. But then you get up here, and it's clearly thinner on the left. I mean, I would send it into grade anyways in the off chance that they bring it back a 10. Here we go. What a hot round. Damn. That's the round of Sun and Moon base that I want to open. Another pull. Also the Lunala GX. Very good. Man, sometimes when you hit a home run, it's a home run all the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not just Lily, but Lapras and Lunala GX, huh? All right. And that's how. Okay. Let's get these into a book bag. What sorcery is this? Lily value? You guys want to look it up? We can look up the value of the Lily. He says, the Snorlax First Edition PSA 10 sold in October for 15 k From my point of view, 15 k is low, dude. And that's generally what you see in auctions. When a card sells in auction, tends to undersell compared to what it's offered for in the buy it now. So I think that the Snorlax easily could have gotten 20 k He's He's really that popular of a Pokemon is Snorlax, dude. And he's really that rare as well, and he's from an original set. So 15k, he probably got a steal. Okay, GMAC. That's a low price. I probably... If I had 15k, this is the problem with auctions. Do you got 15,000 laying around at that moment? Maybe not. You know, but if, if you listed it, let's say he took the same card and he listed it for 17k, somebody would have coughed up 17k. They would have had it laying around and they would have coughed it up. It might have taken them an extra week to get the last $2,000. Maybe they would have had to trade off one of their cards. So I think you lose money in auction. So I, I don't like auction. I might use it someday auction, but I'm not a fan. All right, here you go. Very nice. What's my favorite card? Uh, this one. Woohoo! Easy question, easy answer. All right, let's see what's next. Kitty came over here. She's just chilling now. You want to see Kitty? <laughs> you know, she was sleeping on the couch and she decided she wanted to be closer. What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, I like Farfetch'd. Okay, we're jumping over to activity. I can see there's a little bit of a line now. Okay, so we'll get to all your orders. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's weird. Dude, it changed up the order of these. 
See, that, that makes me, I don't trust PayPal. Running this off of PayPal is a little bit tricky because it, it, it just took that Nick Boo order we did earlier with the two rounds of Hidden Fates, and it just moved it above the GMAC order that we just completed. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Let me just scroll backwards, make sure we didn't miss anyone then. No, I think we're good. Next up, we have Awesome Cameras. All right. So Awesome Cameras, I'm going to be running by that name for your bag. You got to use that name every time in your messages, okay? Actually, it says, it, never mind, it says it in your PayPal, so you're good. So he, wa he says, 1XY Evo, a spot in the medium, first time buyer, nickname Awesome Cameras. Perfect. Awesome Cameras with the XY Evo. Here's your spot in the medium. I'm going to start a competing channel called Melancholic Cameras. And people, people are going to click on my videos out of intrigue. They're going to say, intrigue? Here we go. He says, got your eye on anything for Christmas? Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas are my... What do I want for Christmas? I want... I should get something for my wife. That's what I want. <laughs> what do I need? I mean, obviously, I'm just going to want Pokemon cards. So, Machoke. I don't know about that. That's not a Charizard. Let's see. There's a Rare Doug Trio. A useless code card. Any peeps that choose? No peeps that choose. All right. Toss it up here. That's not Charizard. An actual bed. What? I ain't got money for beds. I gotta buy Pokemons. Come on, mister. By the way, you said that Snorlax sold for 15K in October. Fifteen K in October, huh? God King Lunar says sixteen K like last week. All right, I wrote 15K down. Look what I paid for it. I paid 2754 And so now uh, there's an established price of at least 15K. So if I asked 15K, that wouldn't be unusual. Pretty crazy, huh? That's pretty good. That's better than the stock market, I think. That's why people like Logan Paul got into Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards were already going up in price. And he saw that, and he's like, oh, sh Jesus. That's what happened. Do I have Shining Legends? Do I have Shining Legends? No, I do not. You know, and there's these people out there who have fantasies where, oh, it's a bubble and it's going to pop and then all the cards will be so cheap. Nope. And I think they have these fantasies because, one, I think they're, they're kind of angry and they hate to see people doing well. But I think also they think, the bubble will pop and then I'm going to buy in. It's just not going to happen. From In my opinion, it won't. He says, the bubble popped. The world's collapsing. Next up, we have Mike Spanos. I think that's Spandinator. And he says, round of cosmic. All right. He says, there is a bubble for sure, though. No, I don't agree with that. I don't think there is. Here we go. Cosmic Equips. You have a fantasy you're rolling in first edition. Only card I'd love to have, the Illustrator Japanese at PSA 10. I'd never let it go. You know, I'm just not a fan of the Illustrator. I never have been. When I heard that the card was really expensive, I was like, who convinced people that that's a good card? That's what I was thinking. I think you will not see a bubble pop at all. I've been doing this for, again, almost two years. It's going to be two years in the spring. And there are no signs, in my opinion, there are no signs that there's a bubble. You don't see prices collapsing in weird ways. Uh, I think modern cards, you'll see people start relying more on black labels. So black labels from BGS will probably grow in value. Everything looks, everything looks pretty good, actually. Here it goes. Here it goes. Record turnout at PSA, man. People want those graded cards bad. 
They want them bad. Vaccine is coming. That's another theory. So people are like, the price of the Pokemon cards are only up because of, you know, COVID. I don't really agree with that either. Remember, there were these YouTubers who were saying things like, oh, well, people got Trump bucks and that's why the Pokemon cards exploded. Dude, Trump bucks were a long time ago now. It's been months since the Trump bucks and the Pokemon cards have done this. <laughs> okay, so uh, I again, I think it's much better explained by the fact that People are getting older. There's these fantastic sets coming out. It's Mister. Mister. Made up for all those booger rounds. Those booger rounds. <laughs> Lillian Lapras, happy, 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 happy. By the way, anchovies <laughs> are Mac Daddies. Favorite. Um. Experience. Um. Experience. Oh no. <laughs> experience. Anchovies. All right. So unfortunately, Mike Spaninator. The Cosmic were cold, and yeah, that was a very good round of Sun and Moon, and that's just generally how it goes with pulls from my uh, experience. You will get good pulls, you'll get bad pulls, and they tend to even out a little bit over time, so I'm glad you got that, really. Some people really do get lucky, though. Who have... Sora's been one of the luckiest people on this channel. He opened only Vintage, and he, he got like all the best pulls from the Vintage, so he's he made out like a bandit. He did really well. And there's probably more, but there's been so many people on this channel, like, I've lost track. So many people. Some people get a little more lucky. Some people get a little less lucky. When I go into Walmart or Target, what kind of pack should I buy? Yeah, I would buy Champion's Path. This is a great question, actually. Uh, what kind of... Oh, that's a great question. I should make, a, like, a video on that. What pack should I buy at Walmart? Where do I write this down? Let me get up. I should make a next mail time. That should be a question. So, uh, Champion's Path, which is heavily scalped right now. Hidden Fates, which continues to hold quite a lot of value. Um, X anything with XY Evolution in it. This is the temptation kicking in, but would you fancy a trade two spots in my game for one? In your czar game. What? Two spots in my game for one in your czar game. Um. How would that work? <laughs> You're funny, Luca. So, Lucario, I could... If your game was over, I could pay you, and then you could go buy a spot in the Charizard game. So, I would get Champion's Path, Hidden Fates, XY Evolutions. The funny thing is, would I get Vivid Voltage? I don't know if I'd get Vivid Voltage. Um, oh, Shining Legends. Shining Legends. That's another one. Shining Legends. These are all the ones that tend to be really expensive online. Champions, Hidden Path, XY Evo, and Shining Legends. Keep your eyes out for these. Great question, by the way. Oops, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this back here. I should answer a question like that more often. Because that's that'll help people save some money, actually, if they know that. Okay, back to the list. Sorry, Mike Spandinator, Cold Cosmics. Next up, we have... It's me, Snorlax V. One in the medium, one round of Cosmic. Oh, man. You got lucky that your order came in after his. Yours might, yours could actually be cold, too, in theory. Let's see what happens. We haven't opened them yet, so don't get excited. I have the whole Sandstorm and Team Magma EX sets. Oh, nice. I've never found Hibs in the store. I ain't never seen two pretty best Hibs. Do you have a website? No, it's all done from PayPal and the description of the live stream. Do I like Japanese cards? I really like Japanese cards. I was one of the... So I was one of the guys who was talking about how <clears throat> the vintage Japanese cards were going underappreciated. And I started buying a bunch of them up. And then Logan Paul did his thing. And I watched the price of those vintage Japanese cards explode. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I need to clear my throat. I did extremely well with the Japanese cards. Okay, here we go. Dusk Noir. Man, that looks cool. Is that gradable? Well, he's fat on this corner. I assumed. Oh, thanks, man. Why Japanese cards is less expensive? Well, um... There's probably a few explanations for that. I think one of the main reasons is there's a large English audience with a lot of English influencers. Oh, here. However... English audience doesn't think to buy Japanese right away, even though you could have you could train an English audience to enjoy the Japanese cards, like this one, for example. That's really nice. You could, people, you know, there's a lot of weebs and all that, and uh, this is the original language of the product. Uh, and then, of course, you have the benefit of being able to sell it in Japan as well. So Japanese people will buy this card as well. So it's actually really clever to be able to understand when a Japanese card is a good investment. And so I've got boxes of Japanese graded cards over there, Japanese graded tens, and they've they've exploded in price. It, it was one of the smarter purchases I made. Weavile. You think Japanese cards will pop in price? Hopefully in a good way. Off center Weavile, huh? I'm sorry, Snorlax V. That's an off center. If that was an on center Weavile, that would be really nice. V. So it's not just about getting pulls. Your pull also has to be kind of well-centered. Should I buy Burning Shadows? I would not buy Burning Shadows. I never buy Burning Shadows. I don't recommend it. That set has a cutting problem. Should you buy the PSA cards from Burning Shadows? Heck yeah. Go out and get PSA 10s of Burning Shadows. But don't buy the packs. The packs are a waste of your money. They really are, in my opinion. I mean, I, you know, I put my money where my mouth is. You never see Burning Shadows for sale on this channel because I don't want you guys to waste your money on it. Next up, we got Mashud. He says, three XY Evos, one Hidden Face, and live shipping. All right. Sweet. I heard Rainbow VMAX price is going down. Oh, for the Charizard VMAX? Yes, and that's a natural part of... See, there's so many people who are new to this. You're talking about this guy right here. Who's that? That's Misty. This card is going down in price. That's a normal part of the life cycle of the card. It goes down because it starts up here. It's overpriced up here, really, when the, it first comes out, and then it, it slides down as everyone gets theirs graded and posts it for sale. Eventually, the market clears up and it starts to build back up. That's exactly how it works. So at the very start, the cards are very expensive, and then they get cheaper, and then they go back to being expensive. Wait, can we see that Misty card? Here we go. We need an Evo. I'm sorry, we need an XY. A Hidden Fates, that's what I'm trying to say. We need a Hidden Fates as well. You know, I had a Unified Minds Mewtwo, and I paid like, I think I paid two fifty dollars for it a long time ago. And I was like, man, that was expensive, but at least it's going to go up in price. And then I watched as the Unified Minds Mewtwo dropped all the way down to about $90. I think it went that low. And I, I kind of was like messed up by that. I was like, wow, I wasted money on this Mewtwo, but I, di I did not sell it. I didn't sell it. And then I waited and waited, and the price climbed all the way back up to like four hundred dollars. I was like, "Wow!" So the price fluctuates. It it doesn't necessarily stay the same all the time for the, you know, for the modern cards. And I'll go look up that Mewtwo right now. I'm curious because I own one. Unified Minds Mewtwo. Let's look them up. Choose buy it now. Four hundred and fifty dollars, and then the next one's five hundred. Oh, there's two four fifties and then one five hundred. Cool. Yeah, I did good on that card because I I end up making two hundred dollars on it if I sell it right now. Uh, and you know, uh, my money sat in it for like almost a year, but doubling your money in a year again that's actually better than the stock market. 
And do you think I would have trouble selling the card? Not really. I sell it over here to you guys. Wouldn't be too hard. So, hey, mister. What is the process of getting your cards graded? You send it in to, to PSA. All right, here we go. Or BGS or CGC. All right, here we go. Can you see what I look like? It's a mystery. These hands aren't attached to a body. Shiny Star V is going to sell out fast on this channel. Well, I could stop it from selling out fast by overpricing it, and then you guys will get mad. You'll say your price is too high. And I'll say, well, I could have lowered my price and sold out in like a day, or I could go with the high price and make more money every time I open the pack. So it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. Do you have Shiny Star? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Oops. Hold on. Oh, man. What the heck? I lost track. I had to re-log back in. Here we go. Mashud, what's up, man? Two, three. Put her in front. <laughs> Ghastly Dragonite. Is grading my cards at CGC worth it right now? Uh, I'm actually going to say yes. I, I haven't graded any of my cards at CGC yet. Uh, but I've changed my mind on CGC. As long as CGC is properly grading the card. That's the main concern. As long as they're properly grading the card. Maybe the label doesn't matter. Because you can always have a card regraded. Nido King. The, the real problem is. PSA takes simply too long to grade the card. And it actually, there is actually a cost to having your card gone at PSA forever. You know what I mean? It's just there forever. So there is a cost to that. Oh, nice. Beautiful Machamp. Very thin print line. Where are you buying Shiny Star from? The Man in the Alley. Kmart.com. I'm waiting for TCC card grading service to launch. <laughs> what are you talking about? I already do that. I see CGC getting bigger in the future. Yeah, well, it's going to get bigger in the future if PSA doesn't get its crap together and start grading the cards in a more reasonable amount of time. Mister, when will you retire? You know what's funny? Um, considering all the vintage cards I have, if I sold off my whole collection, let's say three years from now, it's doubled twice, two more times. It's all doubled in price two more times. I think I could retire after selling my entire collection. Um, and I don't want to do that because I this is way too fun. This is cool. I like working with you guys. I like helping you out with uh, ideas. I've always liked making content. He says, but would you? See, I don't think I would. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. Also, if I retired, what would I do? Go to the beach or something? I don't like the, I don't even like the beach, dude. I like the cold. Uh, I like to be busy. I like to be working. So if I quit my job, I just probably I'd take another job. Are you ready? Ah, it's not gonna <laughs> I was hoping it'd be something better. But you know what? You're picking up a full art shiny, so nothing to be ashamed of there. Very nice, mister. Naganadel, along with like Stack Attacka and Buzzwool, they're kind of like the lower value shiny full arts. But again, it's better than a cold pack, right? <laughs> okay, toss this over here. Could have been a cold pack. You don't want that. Did we go, hold on. Did we go through his book properly? I forgot, you had XY Evo bulk. I'm talking up a storm over here. Oh, guess we did. Wow, dude. No Charmanders, no Pikachus. No Charmanders, no Pikachus, no secret rares. Okay. You still miss Joaquin? He had bulk. Oh, he's got live shipping. He does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get that together. Sorry about that, man. Place that there. It's because I'm talking too much. When I talk too much, I kind of lose concentration. Whoops. Where does this cut off? It cuts off here. There it goes. Okay. And I think this is yours. Here, you can have these too for fun. You can have these. I think this Eevee is yours. Is this Eevee his? I don't even know. Place this over here. Actually, mister, I sold a hidden face PSA 9 site there for 50. Did I undersell? Um, no, that sounds about right. That sounds close to, I would have to go look up the price of an actual site there, but that, that sounds pretty close to what I'd expect to pay for him. 50 bucks might even be high. 
What are the Vivid Voltage Chase cards? Definitely Pikachu. <laughs> okay, Mashud, let's go ahead and confirm your address, mister. You need to sub. Thank you, Lightning Wolf, for subscribing. And I hope you guys will take a minute and subscribe. It really does help the channel. We're trying to reach 12,000. We're about halfway there. So, Mashud, I have an address. 2916. Let me know if that's correct. 2916. Looks like I've never shipped you before. Just waiting for him to confirm. All right, I don't see him answering. Let me go over to Discord and see if I can look him up. Well, he's not going by my shoot over there. Almost 400 views. We got a lot of viewers tonight, huh? That's kind of cool. The late night streams definitely do better. Oh, here it is. Gotcha. Okay, we got the right address. Very good. The late night streams, man, we get a little more activity. I think during the daytime, what's going on with the daytime stream, uh, those are very new. We, we haven't traditionally done that on this channel very much at all. We've been doing the late night stream for a long time now. So a lot of people know about the late night stream. Not a lot of people know we're doing daytime streams now too. What I've done is I've split the work between the two streams so that I don't sit down for five hours at a time, which was probably killing me. All right, we're printing a label. All right, let me take you to the other table. I'll get you shipped up. You pulled an amazing rare Rayquaza. Mister, have you seen my Rayquaza? Oh man, look at all this beautiful bubble wrap. I love it when we got lots of bubble wrap. That makes this job very easy. <laughs> okay, your cards are on the way. You are shipped, mister. Toss it right there. Who's next? I still need the purple amazing rarization. Mr. TT, TCC had COVID for sure. I was coughing nonstop for like three weeks, it felt like. So it had to have been COVID, right? Who knows? You can cough for other reasons. Maybe I had allergies. Next up, we have Lawler. He wants three vivid voltage, two champions path, and a medium custom booster. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Save some for me. Here's two champions, Pat. Got some up here. Medium. Azura says, do not invest in modern. How long is the line right now? There's a little bit of a line. I couldn't tell you exactly how long it is. I used to be able to tell you from Streamlabs. On pay when I look at the PayPal list, there's really no way to tell how long people have been sitting around. Streamlabs, they used to keep, uh, it would keep count of, or track of how long a person has been waiting. PayPal does not do that. Why did you just write my last name down? Lawler? Your last name's Lawler? Well, now we know your last name. Name. Ouch. Lucario says invest in modern. <laughs> Hi, mister. How was your day? Is it worth grading the secret rares from Vivid Voltage? Yeah, of course. Why not? 
Is Vivid Voltage going to up in value? <sighs> From where it's already at? <laughs> I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I think Vivid Voltage is overpriced. Invest in Belle Delphine, says Cheese. Pin Kirchen. Mr. Our Charmander's Charmeleons, non Hollers and Pichus from Hidden Fates worth sleeving. Yes? Oh, you're talking about, oh, oh, like reverse hollows? I keep a lookout for those nowadays, okay? So if I see a nice one, I'll send it over to you guys. Especially if it's well centered. So we got Zarud V, huh? You should sell your bathwater. Yeah, I've been told that for a long time. I've been told that ever since Belle Delphine did that. We got Carvana Lycan Rock. I, here's the deal, guys. This set literally did just come out. You know, the um, Vivid Voltage. They're going to print it and print it and print it and print it. It's no rush. People rush it. And that's what causes the price to spike. Everyone wants to open it at the same time. And if you're clever and patient, you can wait for the price to go down. Think about this for a second. You know, another set's going to come out in February, probably, the Shiny Star set. No one's even going to remember. Uh, nobody's even going to remember Vivid Voltage by then. They're going to be like, Vivid Voltage what? And the price probably will fall at that point. That's, that's my suspicion. The prices I'm seeing on the secondhand market for Vivid Voltage booster packs is just too high. I don't get it. I don't get it unless they artificially printed less than usual or the demand like blew up something. Here we go. So this is for Lawler. Here you go, mister. No shiny Charizard. Had to hit the sub. Thank you so much, mister. Okay, let's see what's next. Ask me if I'm investing in Vivid Voltage. I'm not. I'm not investing in that. I'm not investing in Darkness. I'm not investing in Rebel Clash. I'm not investing in the base set. They're, they just came out. Ask me about them like three years from now, and I'll be like, yep, I'm buying it up because it, I know that it's getting closer to being out of print. You don't want to buy it when it's brand new, fresh. It just doesn't make sense. There's, You guys saw the XY Evolution set blow up in price. So you, you should have watched that and learned something from it. You should have learned, oh yeah, the XY Evolution set along with the other XY sets are actually probably running pretty low relative to these sets that are still heavily in print. I don't, I don't know if Nintendo, the Pokemon card company, is still printing uh, the XY series. If, if they are, probably not very much at all. You know what I mean? So anyways, you guys are here for the Fui knowledge we got jason laura hey mister round of vivid let's get it all right jason so, thoughts on dragonite ex full art from what evolutions oh it's beautiful that's a great card for people who are fans of dragonite uh there's not a lot of dragonites there was like a dragonite released there's like a promo released in sun and moon and then there was like unified minds dragonite so fans of dragonite should pick up that xy evolutions one and it should hold on to a fair amount of value, I think. It's a great card. If you pull it out of your pack, you made money. We can go look them up. PSA 10 Dragonite from XY Evolution. So you get an idea how much he costs. Beedrill Zerora. Ooh. Do you think Tag, uh, tag All-Stars will go up? I think it will. Um, yeah, I think it will. Because it's got a Charizard in it. It's got a really hard-to-pull Charizard in it. So... One thing to never bet against is Charizard. Charizard sets always do pretty well. A Vivid Voltage, similar to Tag Team, not, not All-Stars. Uh, I'm sorry. Vivid Voltage. There's so many similar sounding names out there. Vivid Voltage, similar to Team Up. Team Up. It has a, uh, it has a normal, it has one of these cards for Charizard. So it's got a Charizard in the set, and that's a good sign. Uh, the, the thing is, the question you should be asking is, when do I, I've, I've done this before on my TikTok. I made a video out of it. When do I invest in Pokemon cards? Uh, you know, I'm just going to teach it again. It's probably something worth learning. 
and there's going to be new people who are going to learn about it all the time but i'm going to share some information about this and if you've been around on this channel for a while you've seen me do this before but think of think of sets like on this graph here so here's a graph and uh you know this is going to be time on the bottom time times on the bottom and this the set this is price on the other side price and time right so so over time the price changes and boxes start out very cheap at the start when they release and they actually stay pretty flat there's usually like a point maybe around here where where it's going to jump it's going to be higher now so the price will jump a little bit and if you had bought a bunch of boxes here the price will go up a little bit and you'll be oh man i'm making money but you're really not because there's so many other products pokemon products that that are moving faster appreciating faster than these modern sets and after ebay fees and everything like that you actually don't make that much on it so the price does jump somewhere further down the line uh, even before it's out of print usually it's because they're not focused the maybe the pokemon card company is not focusing on it anymore they're focusing on a new set so it jumps a little bit at some point uh but it, it'll stay there and it might go up a little bit you know like unified minds tag team all-stars i'm uh, unbroken bonds team up moves up a little bit there's this really critical point though let's say it's right here four years later i don't know if it's exactly four years where they're done printing it and it is low supply now and it does this boop and this is really where you want to buy is right here. That's where you want to buy. You don't want to buy before this point. It's a waste of your money. Well, it's not a waste of your money. The funny thing is, <laughs> with Pokemon cards, they're doing so well. Pretty much if you buy any of this, it's funny, funny enough, you'll almost do better than the stock market as long as you're hustling. But this is really where cards make a lot of money is right here. And I figure that out early. So I try to teach other people about this concept here. This is where the, the boxes start to shoot up in price. It's about right there. Right before uh, people right before people realize it's out of stock, which is exactly why I was sitting on a bunch of, of cases of XY Evolutions, right? Because then people realize, oh, there's no more on the market. I better, you know, I better go grab some. And oops, the price has already gone up a bunch. Graph time with TCC. That's right. Sorry, I should probably be opening Poke Packs. Okay, let's see. Did we open for Jason? Yes, we did. Jason, Laura. All right. What's better to buy, booster boxes or, or definitely booster boxes? To answer your question. All right, Jason. Hey, mister, just got home from work. What's up, man? Jason... Laura, if you send me a big wall of text, I can't read the whole thing before it scrolls up. Illuminati confirmed. That's right. What do you think about the mystery power box? It's so mysterious. Draven says, one Tenzenberg spot, one All-Stars, one Order of Rebel Clash. Pre please, mister, it's free season. All right. That's right. We still have the Tenzenberg box. Do you guys remember the Tenzenberg box? It's a moving. It's a moving. So this will be for Draven. Tensenberg box is uh, fourteen dollars a spot. All right, what were the other things you wanted? An order of Rebel Clash and one All Stars. Is Rebel Clash good? Uh, I think Rebel Clash gets trash talked a lot, but it's actually not a bad set. For example, the other guy he just pulled in this live stream, Boss's orders. Let's look up PSA ten Boss's orders real fast. Okay, so here's some bosses orders. This is like 200 bucks for the rainbow rare version of the card. You know, that's actually not bad. Uh, and you could pull the full art and try to get money off of that too, right? I think you have a better odds of pulling the full art than the rainbow rare. I think the rainbow rare is rarer, right? So there's there's decent cards in the Rebel Clash set. Bosses orders, just one of them, of course. There's also some, oh, my laptop unplugged, hold on. It, like, dies instantly if it comes unplugged. Boss's Orders is one, but there's, like, Sonya's in the set. Dragapult's in the set. What are the golden cards for that set? I'm trying to remember. Frostmoth is in the set. Frostmoth looks really cool. It's too bad that this table isn't better centered. I would have to push these this way. 
And this will all have to come this way. I wonder why it never works out that way. You know why it doesn't work out? Because when I go to pull these boxes, it all shoves to the right. Okay, anyways. Mr. The Back Jason Lawrence for Speedy Boogers. You can go on our Discord and you'll see my name. Speedy Boogers, huh? Okay. Let's find your bag. Speedy Boogers. This is why I'm I'm considering getting rid of nicknames. No nicknames allowed. <laughs> It's going to cause a shipping problem eventually. Somebody's going to say, hey, you didn't ship both my bags. And I'll say, what do you mean? And they'll say, well, you had two different bag names for me because I, I didn't say my nickname in the message. And I'll be like, bitch, you cost, costing me money. Get my baseball bat out. <laughs> Speedy bugs, huh? Well, Speedy Boogers, I don't even see a bag for you. Here we are. Speedy Boogers. How about that glaring Darmanitan? That looks fancy. Can you say hello to my friend Mamadora? How's it going, Mamadora? Your friend Mamadora? Okay, we're not done with Draven. He needs an All Stars. Okay. That's so Draven. Seriously. He needs an All-Stars, and he needs what else? A Rebel Clash. Where's my Rebel? That's right. That's so Draven. <laughs> I need the Gold Frost Moth. I know it. Golden Frost Moth. Neep. Woohoo. How much is Shiny Charizard VMAX going to be? I don't know. Five bazillion. What's up, Pat? Three, four. Oh, look, I'm back. And Mr. Changed the tie, like you said earlier. Here's coughing. That's a greenback. Three, four. Sigilyph. I'm not a fan of Sigilyph. He looks kind of... Um, he does not look like he makes any sense from it, from a, what am I trying to say? Aerodynamic point of view. <laughs> How's he flying? Hmm? Explain yourself, Sigilyph. He just wills it. He's like Magneton. No, Magneton actually has an explanation. He used like electrical lines. Something like that, electrical fields. Do they have Pokemon cards in Chinese? Yes, they do. Physics, I know. <laughs> Oh, dude, you thought your pulls were hot? Or you thought your pulls were cold? They were actually extremely hot. There's the Frost Moth. That's exactly what I was talking about. People were like, is Rebel Clash any good? And it's like, well, people like the Frost Moth. It's a great looking card. Look at this card, guys. That's really lovely. When you see this and you think, wow, you could have a PSA 10 Frost Moth, you go, yeah, I would like, I'd like one of those. Beautiful pull, Mr. Excellent. Excellent. What do you think will happen in terms of pricing for evolutions? And by the way, I want to point this out, guys. So this Frost Moth and the boss's order come from the same box. If that boss's order is selling for like $150 and this is selling for like $200, $300 as 10s, all I'm saying is Rebel Clash right now is pretty affordable compared to like Vivid Voltage where people are paying obscene amounts of money going after that Pikachu. You know what I mean? So you got to check that price. You got to check that price tag and understand how people, you know, pe people wise up to the supply and demand of card sets. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, unfortunately, just the Greninja Zorark. Do you do the tube? That's right. Oh, I'm all about the tube. God, I love the tube. Give me the tube. All right, let me log back into the PayPal's. It just logged out. Do I have a website? No, I do not run a website for this. We do everything from the description and PayPal. We do everything from PayPal in the description. I opened a shiny Star V box and got poop. Are you buying? Can I see what I have in my bag? I have like maybe two cards. I don't even know what your bag name would be. American Ease Weeze says, sold my shiny car for 30 on eBay. Sweet. So, well, let's see. We were helping 
Wow, wow, we whoa. Where were we? Not Jason Laura. We were helping. It was Draven. Woohoo! All right. Congratulations, Draven. Draven really deserves these pulls. He had some tough pulls in the past. I'm glad you're getting the better ones here. We should invest to Rebel Clash right now while it's still low in value. Oh my god. You love the Greninja Zorark? Greninja is apparently one of the most popular Pokemons, but I don't always see that reflected in the collectibles market. All right, next up we have... My name is Haunted. All right. He wants one fate, one round of fates. If this round doesn't work, it's the last time I'm going for fates. And one pack of Evo. All right. Good luck. Hopefully it does work. Fates collide. Fates collide's a little pricier because it's a little older. Not as pricey as Evo yet. Do you think Pokemon will release a new set this December? I think I... I don't think so. I think they'll release one in February. Here we go. See, because they just released Champion's Path, and they just released Vivid Voltage. I think Vivid Voltage is their plan for December. Yeah, I think they're set. Also, I, I've read that the price of Pokemon cards tend to fall in the summertime. Yeah, I read that somewhere. So, uh, and then they pick up in the winter every year as cyclical because of the demand for the cards for kids, you right? So, something I'll be paying attention to. I don't know if I noticed that on this channel. How do I become a member? Great question, Snorlax V. So, YouTube memberships, you, you can get those next to the subscribe button. There's usually like a join button. But if you're on your phone, you might not see that join button. So this bronzor is very off center. I'm just, I'm just gonna bulk them, mister. Yeah, if you wanna become a member, members get a Pokeball next to their name and they get access to the exclusive Poke emojis. Larvitar, I'm a fan. I like Tyranitar. Last pack, what do we got here? Oh gosh, dude, this is another green back. I tell you what, Hanta, you've been going deep on this set. Let me get you one more pack, mister. Just because I'm so nice. These are kind of pricey, so I hope you can appreciate it. You know, because I'm supposed to make a little money selling these, but when I open this extra one for you, basically the money I was going to make is all gone, but I want to see you get a good pull. There you go. Glaceon EX. Excellent. I hate seeing people get too many cold pulls in a row. It just makes me sad. Glaceon EX. Ooh. Ooh. And for your XY evolutions, two, three. Ooh, Magneton. Pretty clean looking Magneton. Places right here. I think he's a little off center though. Let's see if you got any secret rares. Here's a Charmander. Here's a Magnemite. You can put that with your Magneton. And that seems to be it. Okay, cool. Sweet. I just hate it when somebody pulls a lot of cold ones and then the next person pops right in completely snipes the hot card you know so he just opened like did he open nine packs of it i think he opened almost nine packs of this set and then <laughs> the next pack was the glaceon somebody else would have gotten the glaceon i it just makes me cringe so i gotta get that for him anyways sometimes the bonus pack is a really hot sometimes it's not haunted let's find your bag here we are I started investing in sport cards and looked at the Pokemon right before the spike, and now I'm just getting burned out because of these resellers, man. Uh, what do you mean by that? Give, give, me some, give me some more information. Do you mean like you almost invested in Pokemon cards, and now with the price of them moving up real fast, you're frustrated that they're just expensive? Michael Scott is here. What do you think will happen to evolutions in terms of pricing? Uh... At the rate people keep opening evolutions, the price on evolutions will continue to rise and it will become one of the very expensive sets. Very expensive. Evolutions, I don't think they're printing a lot of evolutions if they're printing it at all. I'm still confused why Vivid Voltage booster boxes are still 130 plus. That's what I'm saying, man. The, it's, they're so ridiculously overpriced. Vivid Voltage is... I, <laughs> it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. All right, Bots are destroying Walmart. I, I think he means pre-order bots, right? Let's see who's next. I am Gigabyte says, 
Two sword and shield rounds of darkness. All right, we can get you that. Bleep, 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 bleep. One, two, three. One, two, three. One sword and shield base set. Okay, sword and shield base set. We got five of those. And one medium. Okay. I am Gigabyte, huh? Woohoo, mister, should I get a base set Blastoise Hollow in PSA 9? Yes. I mean, I don't see any problem with it. <laughs> Vivid selling on sale in UK. Nice. Here goes. Sneep. The first print run of Vivid Voltage was short. That's what I saw, too. It, it was short and it was overpriced. And you got all these YouTubers hyping it up. It is literally a set that's in print. Should we buy the starter packs or the bosser packs? Huh? What? Where do you recommend buying vintage? Um, websites like eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. You, you shop all over the internet. I find it funny that people ask that question. Is like, isn't it, is it not obvious where to go buy cards? Just go looking. Just go looking on the internet. There's marketplaces everywhere, but some are a lot more obvious than others. You know what I mean? Like, take take 10 seconds and just go look, man. <laughs> I get that question. I get questions like that all the time. And I, I joke, go to kmart.com. I say, go to the man in the alley because it's, it's, it's asked way too often. And it's such an obvious answer, you know? Right? So let's see. What do we got? Go to a garage sale, mister. Maybe you'll get lucky and they'll be selling Pokemon cars at a garage sale. That's something I've never tried recently. You know, there's a lot of places you can go to get it online and... They're not new. eBay's been around since like the 90s. You know, eBay's not new. Amazon, <laughs> eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, Facebook, uh, Mercari. Uh, just ask a friend if they got Pokemon cards they don't want anymore. You know what I mean? Mister, where do we buy them? I think, I think his question is more along the lines of, I'm concerned that I might get inauthentic cards. What's the best way to buy uh, cards off the internet? How do we get the cheapest ones? How do we get the best ones, you know? And that's part of the collecting game. You have to go out there and figure that out, uh, kind of figure that out through experience. How do you even know if I'm that good at it? What if I suck at it? You don't know. I might be the worst guy for advice. eBay is now full with proxy. People want that hidden low price. Mister, what's the secret? Teach me the secret, mister. So I think that's actually what he means when he asked that question. He wants to know, what's the secret for getting it for two pennies? Mister, do you think Charizard is going down in price in Vivid Voltage? Well, the Vivid Voltage Charizard is just a reverse hollow hollow, so he definitely will never cost, like, a lot. He's going to be, like, 50, 60 bucks at the start, in my opinion. Well, I mean, the guys who express grade it, they're going to ask for, like, 200 don't buy those Charizards, okay? So the Express Graders, they're going to ask like 200 on that card. Uh, but seven months from now, that card's going to be like 50 bucks. So just wait seven months if you're going to buy him flat out, you know? Okay, here we go. Let's keep opening these. That's right, be a guru. We got Vanillite, Toxtricity, Shining Legends or Champion's Path or Vivid Voltage. Any suggestions on where to buy Japanese cards online? Um, on JapaneseCardsOnline.com. Ooh, look at this white back. Santa Conda. Oh, man, he's getting tough pulls right now. He's getting destroyed over here. Anyone dissing on Steam Siege is banned. Instant ban. Oh, yeah, there's the whole Troll and Toad store. That's another one. Forgot to mention that one. <laughs> They're over here getting free advertisement. I actually, I used Troll and Toad store when I started out. I ended up not liking it that much, and I stopped using it. Salazzle and Galarian Obstagoon. Uh, really, all it is is it's a website that's a front for multiple sellers to go to. That's what it is. So I'm sure they get, like, a commission or something like that. Dude, 
Your polls were heart crushingly cold. Who was that for? That was for. That was for I am Gigabyte, and his polls were cold. He says, "Wow, that's chilly. That's chilly, Relano." So I tell you what, we'll go ahead and toss you a Gyarados. Oops, come on now. And write you, okay? So who was that? I'm Gigabyte, your bag's gonna be in the G box. Those were some tough pulls, mister. He says, yay! Damn, free cards. Mister. Toss this over here. Mister, you should have free gum to add to the packs. Free gum, huh? <laughs> like a stick of gum. Next up, we got... <laughs> it's GMAC. She wants to grade her Lapras and Lily. Is the Lily a $20 grade? I will try it. Let's see what happens. Who cares? Thinking of buying a booster box? You should get the Steam Siege booster box. You knew I was going to say that. Did you not think I was going to say Steam Siege? Steam Siege is always the answer. And it's the correct answer. Steam Siege is way better. Superior, even. You could even call me a Steam Siege supremacist. I'm not ashamed. I ain't scared of it. Put this over here. All right. That's boxist. <laughs> 43 for Shiny V? What? Steam Siege cured my IBS. Mister, has so much Steam Siege to move. Um, do I? Put this Lily over here. All right. G Mac. We go through Steam Siege at a pretty steady rate. Do you have any PSA 10 XY Evo cards? I got the Charizard. You miss Ancient Origins? Uh, we have Ancient Origins right now. We've been opening them. Right? Yep. Ancient Origins. See, right here. Can we buy packs? No, that's not allowed. We don't do that on that channel, or on this channel, mister. Oh, what? I got a pull. I just opened one pack for myself to show it off. Oh, dude, I got the Giratina. Damn. Beautiful, man. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. That was so easy. It was Pokey Ordained. It was Pokey Destiny. That's a great looking card too, by the way. You guys want to see that again? I'll leave it out on the table for now. Yeah, the back of the card looks not too bad. I think it'll end up being a nine though. So this is Eddie Petty on it and it's not Eddie Petty's. Let's grab a different one. Giratina EX. Wait. Okay, who's next? Nerdy Noob. He says, one round of Vivid for Nerdy Noob. All right, one round of Vivid. Resealed. It's all wigged. <laughs> okay, and we'll place this here. He says he also wants a spot in the medium. Okay, those might have already sold out, those last five spots. I don't know. It's wigged. Let's see what we got. Sneep. Sneep. I use Ultra Pro for grading. What? 
Is it worth opening up the promo card wrapper? Maybe. Nerdy Noob a Girl has good size YouTube channel. What? No join button on mobile. Yeah. I've heard about that. So if you guys want to become a member of the channel, I think you have to access this same live stream from your browser on your phone or use your computer laptop. You know what I mean? So here we go. Pack number two. Wait, did he say I have a box? I think he said he had, uh, he had a box. Hold on. Or she. You're saying Nerdy Noob's a girl? Here we are. I have a box. All right, cool. So there's Nuzleaf. My Ina comes back. Grappleocked comes back. Actually, I don't think all those come back, but I think I just gave you somebody else's cards. Who cares? Here we go. Chunky Chew. What are the second cases you put the cards in called, mister? What? No luck this time on the Vivid Voltage. Oof. All right. Let me grab you this bag. You're going to need this. Better luck next time. Amazing rare is greater than hollows, in my opinion. You think? <laughs> Steam Siege Guru strikes again. All right, and we already put you on the... Yes, we did. Okay, we move on. Next up, we have Gifts. He wants nine Vivid Voltage packs and live shipping. First time buying. No problem. Give me a moment. Monster Rancher is greater than Pokemon. What? You take that back, mister. Those are fighting words. Pat Flynn. Aw, oh, thanks for joining, man. Very cool. So that Poke emoji, the Pokeball, I mean... It eventually turns into a Master Ball. How cool is that? And then everyone will have to say, yes, Master. Or yes, sir. Are Cam C perfect fist sleeves? What? What are we talking about? You can thank Alex for the sell. <laughs> Dude, I'm $2 richer. I'm going to out, go out and get myself a nice caramel. <laughs> so, gifts. Gifts. You'll have to confirm your address with me right after this, okay? So, Stand by for that. Let's see what you pull, mister. We're looking for another chonky Hyper Pikachu. We just shipped Ninja Bread Alex's his. He says, now we just need Gary from Pawn Stars to join. I like how everyone calls him Gary from Pawn Stars. I wonder if he likes that nickname. He probably doesn't care. He's probably just happy for a little bit of fame, you know? It, it's cool to have a, uh, you know, to be known. It's, it's kind of cool. I never actually... Uh, you know, I, I, was, I never actually cared that much about, like, fame or anything like that. But I've, I was always very passionate about my hobbies, and I like to talk. and So it's, it's kind of fun having you guys here and talking, and, yeah, it's fun. Okay, here we go. The King of Pokemons. Well, man, he has quite an expensive collection. <laughs> he has a very cool collection. Pack number three is Orbeetle. Your ore beetle wealthy. You like the stream title. <laughs> we we're talking about that during the daytime stream. Because everyone kept asking, do you have shiny star? Yeah, shiny star. <laughs> oh, man. Next pack. I was losing my mind a little bit. Duraladon Taraki. Oh, man, we need a hotter pull than that. Where are these pulls right now? Fortress. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those were terrible pulls. He got one ore beetle in nine packs. All right. Just because I like you. Just because I like you. You're getting one more pack. You ready? Dude, you got nothing. The Poke Gods decided. The Poke Gods decided, dude. I'm sorry, that's just how the cookie crumbles for you this time. That was the bonus pack that was just very bad luck. Damn, dude. Ten packs? Oh, here, let me toss you. You gotta have something. Let me toss you one of these. You gotta have something, man. You can't go home empty-handed. That's just not fun. 
Here, we'll get you the Raichu. That's kind of like Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. It's the same thing, roughly. All right. I can't stand to see that. It's so sad. Well, the thing is, if the Vivid Voltage wasn't so overpriced, I wouldn't care as much. I'd be like, you're on your own. But Vivid Voltage is like a pricier set. He must do a sacrifice. That's right, mister. You forgot to do a pokey sacrifice. You haven't had the Steam Siege blessings. All right, so gifts, I need you to confirm your address. Let me, let me read out just one piece and you can confirm it. So I see an address that starts with 12. One, two, let me, let me know if that, that's the correct shipping address, okay? meantime I'll start getting the label ready free Pokemons all right I don't see him answering maybe he messaged me how much for any evolution pack gifts says yes okay gifts so I'm sending it to the address that starts with 12, okay? That's where it's being sent. And uh, let me get this label made then. Very good. Oh, we're almost out of postage. Do we, we fly through this postage, it's crazy. Okay, I'm taking this over to my shipping desk. I'll be back in a minute. Get this packed up. Actually, I, do I have like a little box? That would be nice. Let me see if I have a box somewhere. I have a box, I have a box. Man, that painkiller really stopped the back pain. That stuff is strong, whatever. Well, it's oxycodone, so that uh, definitely worked. I don't feel a thing. Maybe I should have just taken that at the beginning of the day. Made everything a lot easier. Drums. I'm starting the tape right now. Mute your TVs. You're all shipped, mister. Mr. Gifts. Let's see who's next. We have Nick Boo. He says, two more hidden fates and then I'm done. He says, I swear I can stop at any time. Hey, mister. What's up, Tensburg? He says, I wanted to check if you can verify the 650 on pay PayPal. I believe it's been 48 hours. All right, give me a minute. One second. So I'm, I'm doing a thing for Tenzenberg. I sent him some money, and the way it works is he doesn't have access to the money until I uh, tell PayPal that it's good. I can repeat the transaction. You want me to send more money? I'm just kidding. Uh, received your order. It says you can confirm the receipt of this order 48 hours from now. All right, so it's too early, Tenzenberg. Maybe it's like 46 hours. Maybe it's, maybe it's gonna become available in like two hours, but it's not available yet, okay? Sorry about that. Hopefully soon.
Man, PayPal's slow. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back to the list now. Where were we? So back to Nickaboo. You ready? Okay, here goes. How much are you Shining Legends pack? How much are your Shining Legends pack when they're available again? Uh, <sighs> Shining Legends sells out crazy fast. What I'm supposed to do when a pack sells crazy fast, I'm supposed to raise the price on it. Uh, I bought so much Shining Legends and I just, I, I, I keep track, I, I'm able to hold on to Hidden Fates more than I'm able to hold on to Shining Legends. So I, I don't know. It might just be $20 again when it comes back. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I got this one pack right here. Does somebody want this one for 21 bucks? You guys apparently really like Shining Legends. Here it goes. Nick Boo says, me, I'll take it. You're poor. I'm sorry, mister. Mister, if I could click my fingers, you will be wealthy. Speaking of wealthy, my wife and I were talking about the problem of healthcare together today. We like to do that. We like to talk about societal problems, cultural problems, money problems. Uh, and today we were talking about healthcare, man. It's tough. It makes me sad to think that there's people out there who need healthcare and they can't afford it. And, um, man, there's just no easy solution to it. It's, uh, in my mind, it is a tough problem, and this is why it is taking so long to fix it. I really think it's a very tough problem. We, we talked about it for a long time. It's like every way we talked about it, it was there was no easy solution. So that was for Nick Boo. Nick, no shining full arts. I'm sorry, mister. Yeah, we were talking about that. It was, um, it was too bad. Am I self-employed? Healthcare struggles for sure. I'm self-employed. However, my wife is employed by a company that has pretty good health insurance. So I'm covered by that. Kind of nice, huh? Kind of nice. Healthcare is scary when you're adulting. Yeah, my wife and I came to the same conclusion that I had reached before in the past. We've talked about it here on this channel. And my opinion is that when it comes to like 100% coverage, socialized coverage, young people especially should get 100% coverage by the government. One of the problems you run into, this is the main problem we were thinking about. When you get really old, let's say you're like 75, 80, 85, you're real old now, and you need really expensive care, and it's not going to keep you alive much longer. Now we're throwing all these resources at you, but you're not even going to earn them back for the state, right? You're not going to pay taxes for much longer because you're already retired. So this is one of those really difficult problems with healthcare is the people who need it the most are all unemployed. They're all retired. And so that's one of the struggles with healthcare. We were reading how China does its healthcare and apparently China did, you know, universal healthcare for its people. But then when you read the fine details, it didn't really, it just kind of said it did. So it's, it's a really interesting subject. Uh, and they run into the same problem we do over here. It's like, how do you, the, the primary problem with healthcare is that nobody can afford it. And it's not all just a profits problem. Sometimes Sometimes you just have a large group of your population that just will never be able to afford it, but everyone wants it. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, because it's one of those things where you have it or you, you know, you, you die or something, right? Your, your quality of life falls greatly. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, it's a real complicated problem. My wife and I concluded if we could just make it really cheap, <laughs> maybe that would help. I found... Tenzerbrick says, I also found a lot of my base set, Fossil, Jungle, Team Rocket, Gym Heroes, Neo, base set, two cards... Do you, Tenzelberg, I purchase vintage all day. Send me all the vintage. So let's see, Little Doe, how's it going, Little Doe? Little Doe says, hey, mister, two spots for the tea box, please. Wow, okay, sounds good. Tenzelberg box, you're on two and three. But no, it really was a complicated problem. And, uh... We try to take a look at it from all different sides, like purely capitalism, purely like the state runs the whole thing, health insurance companies run it. You know, we try to look at it from different, it's, it's terrible. The, the problem you run into in the end is you either spend a ton of money taking care of people who can't take care of themselves, 
or you tell them, eh, your time to go, see ya, and you save money, but you're a bad person. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it, it. Actually, that's what it boils down to. That's what we kind of figured out. It boils down to that. You, it costs a lot to take care of everyone. It really does. There's an economic downside to that. Okay, two rounds of vivid voltage. Not sure if my bag was shipped already or not, says Joey Horton. Let's get those vivid voltage. I don't know if your bag was shipped. Bernie Sanders, 2024. That's right, he's he's running again. <laughs> Chancey will take care of you? <laughs> okay, we got it. Just go to the Pokemon Center. What are you doing, man? You go in, that little sound, do, 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 do. Hey, your cancer's gone. Your cancer's in remission. <laughs> they put you in a Pokeball. He says, should I sleeve them all? Um, you could. Uh, I would definitely sleeve all rares and hollows and then any of the basic Pokemon that are notorious for being valuable. But if it would take you all day and all night to sleeve every card, you know, you don't got to do that. So let's see, two rounds for Joey. You ready, Joey? One, two. Joey, here's a who. True GH Crew says, you think we'll ever get universal healthcare? Gosh, man. I think we will. I think a greater question would be, is that a good thing? And I think Bernie Sanders makes a moralistic argument that it's a good thing. But how about a financial argument? Is it really a good thing? That's a tough question. Legalize weed all over? We won't need health care. We wouldn't care. <laughs> there you go. How about, how about legalizing um, assisted suicide? What do you guys think of that? Because uh, that could save a little bit of money. If we're talking strictly about money, let's say you're real old and you don't want to drain your trust fund for your family and you want to die with dignity and all that. That's a controversial subject. That's a controversial subject in the U.S. In the U.S., there's lots of places don't allow. I don't know if it's allowed anywhere in the U.S. actually. They say, nah, you're going to stay alive and suffer and you're going to keep spending money. Wait a second, this guy was saying something nice. He says, Mr., you're the best YouTuber. I'm thankful. Oh, thanks, man. Here we go. I think a lot of old people prefer assisted suicide instead of suggering the la suffering. Suffering, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, you know, that's a really controversial subject, and I don't think we allow it here. It's, it's interesting. Here we go. Good luck, Joey Horton. Healthcare, it's not a free market. It has unlimited demand. That's right. So, Swami is pointing out that healthcare is a unique product. Literally everyone is going to want it. And so he's saying it's not like a regular consumer product. Yes. And I think that this is probably one of the stronger arguments for socializing it. But then you run into another problem. What if I could guarantee you that your country... Ooh, nice. Look at this Celebi. What if I could guarantee you that your, your country would actually uh, fall economically once you start providing it for 100% of your population? What if I could guarantee that to you? What do you think? Money over, over people? Tough question. Tough question because it kind of makes you wonder, are we in a competition? You know, uh, are you responsible for taking care of every human? And if you really believe that, why not take care of every human in every country? So there's sort of uh, some really f difficult, abstract... Oh, nice, dude. You got the hot round, mister. Age slash hyper and Celebi rainbow rare. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about this other stuff. Look, do you guys see this in the background? It's got the swords in the background. Joey Horton's like, ooh... Never heard of pizza in a cup? It's kind of like a, it's kind of like bucket in a mop. He says, how's Canada doing without economic collapse? How's Canada doing it without economic collapse? Well, that was something my wife and I were talking about as well. Maybe rationing? Maybe there's a lot of rationing that occurs. Because that's what she and I realized. Um, you know, the state would have to 
figure out how to ration the healthcare so that it doesn't become bankrupt. We were realizing that's what a health insurance company does, by the way. A health insurance company, they're a company that rations out the healthcare. Also, yes, so La Violette says, is tax, my friend. It's harder to become wealthy in a country like the UK or Canada than it is here in the United States. You can become wealthy here. You could legit become a millionaire very quickly. Start a small business. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get this into your bag. You said, I'm not sure if I shipped yet. He says, taxes. Hmm. Joey Horton, here's a who. He just picked up the Aegis Slash and the Celebi. Nice job, man. The reason we survived free healthcare is due to when we did it. We did it during a time when the population was low. It almost bankrupt the country. Interesting. Joey Horton. Woohoo! Who's next? Eddie Petty, spot number one in the medium. Oh, number one. Here you go, Eddie Petty. Woohoo! Snorlax says, Jeff is the richest man in the world. He doesn't need that much money. So Jeff Bezos, most of his wealth is in stocks. Ooh, I can do a great example of this. So let's say I'm the richest pokey collector in the world. And the way that you're calculating my wealth is you're saying, well, he's got a $15 million Snorlax and a $15 million Flareon and a trillion dollar Dark Magneton. And I go, yeah, I'm super wealthy because I own these Pokemon cards. Well, what if I actually needed to use that money? Let's say I actually needed liquid assets, cash, to do stuff like pay for stuff for people. I would have to sell these. Well, what would happen is I'd put these out into the market and as each one sold, the price of the cards would actually fall. People would be like, wait, why is he selling his Pokemon cards? Are Pokemon cards on the decline? Does he know something I don't know? So that's what's going on with Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, he doesn't have a ton of Pokemon cards. He has stocks in his company and they're really valuable and he owns a lot of them. And if he sells all of his stocks, each consecutive stock isn't going to sell for as much as the last one. It's going to start to fall because people are like, what's going on with Amazon? Why is Jeff Bezos selling out? Uh, especially if he tried to sell all of it. The other thing is um, somebody has to buy those stocks. So, it, so Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, he can go up to the market and say, here's all my Amazon stocks for sale. Please buy them, right? He can say that. But somebody else, else with all that cash has to come in and buy those stocks. Do you see what I'm saying? So Jeff Bezos, he is very wealthy. Um, it's not the kind of wealth you think it is. It's not liquid wealth. So you can't just, ooh, we're just gonna take all his wealth away. It's not so simple, you know what I mean? You just want him to do a kissing video with TCC. Me too, man, where's my kissing video? Bezos sold 3 billion in Amazon stock last week. Yeah, it's crazy, I, I love it. Um, also, he, he donated, did he donate, I think it was 800 million to climate change, right? He, uh, he, that's the thing about wealthy people. Wealthy people can actually make some pretty large changes in the world with their decisions. And that's what you got to look out for. You got to make sure he's using his money for good. So, you know, if, if he's going to help fight climate change with his private money, that's great. Let's see what's next. It's crazy Amazon was created in a garage, right? He originally just sold books, right? Remember that? He just sold books. Who's next? Who's next? So now we helped Joey Horton. Here's a who. Eddie Petty got his spot in the medium. And FXR Nando wants one pack of Hidden Fates. Amazon headquarters. Have a nice day, Pat. How much are the Evo packs? Mister, please have a steam siege on me. The war <laughs> has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. 
It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. <laughs> what? War has changed. <laughs> it says Steam Siege. <laughs> He says, wars change, no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicities. Um, I don't know if you're saying that just, like, to sound like a fiction story or something, or if you meant that seriously. I think that war has changed. It's not so violent anymore. I think the big wars all take place with the ideology. And I think they're almost strictly about nations and ethnicity. Yeah, it's a race war. We have an enormous race war in America, for example. Uh, and we have an ideological war around the patriarchy versus feminism, around socialism, communism, capitalism. Yeah, there's actually a ton of a ton of ideological war that goes on. And war is probably a strong word, but yeah, it's definitely ongoing. So let's see, let's see, let's see. A steam siege on me, huh? Woohoo! Let's pull a Steelix. It's always about money. It's always about power. Ooh, high dragon. I'm pokey rich. So that won't grade a 10. Will this grade a 10? Now nah, he's got white nick on the top. Thank you, mister. Very nice of you. Another steam pack, steam siege pack eliminated forever. Okay, so next up we have the Gimp. He wants two spots in the tens in box, two medium slots, and one rocket pack. Okay, so here's the tens in box. And we're gonna ride down to Gimp. There you go. He also wants two medium slots. I have an ideological Minecraft war. One rocket pack for the Gimp. Did you already have one? Let's see if you already had one. I always get text messages asking about if I'm going to vote Democrat. Well, you must have signed up for something that you must have given your Im information away to somebody. Oh, it should just say one times one. There we go. So when you ship, remind me that you have a rocket pack, okay? So I can write it off. It's Tony. What's up, Tony? Tony Kieros? He says one spot in the medium. Tony Q. They take it from public public information. I get that same crap. We got, really, they, they take your information. That's ridiculous. Hey, it's me, Joey Joseph Biden, Upchurch, Focus Stalin, a.k.a. The Real Lawler. Two rounds of Vivid Voltage and a Puigate grade on my baggie. All right. Let's get, tell you what, let's get a fresh box of Vivid Voltage open so we're pulling from both boxes. Mistle. Instant Chubby Cheeks Pikachu. Sweet. Okay. And a pre-grade on your baggie, huh? And a bucket and a mop. When do I get my promotion? <laughs> I'm 35 and I've never been to a strip club. What am I missing in life? I don't know, man. I don't know. Is it really worth it having a strip? I guess. I mean, what if she's really attractive? Like, that's the that's strange thing about strip clubs. What if you go to one and the girls are naked, you know, mostly, right? Well, what if, like, I guess you go there for, like, the lap dances and all that and to watch these girls dance. But what if you find them all unattractive? What if you're like, nah, you're not my type? Is it a huge waste of your time and money? And then what if you're actually what if they are actually exactly your type? What if you're like, oh my god, she's gorgeous? Maybe it was worth your money? It's so weird. I don't know. Sounds like a sounds like a I don't know, it just sounds like a bad time. 
Girls are legit sweaty and sticky. Oh, no. I go to strip clubs for the food. How much money is that machoke that you got? Do you know? Because I pulled that two days ago. Uh, 50 bazillion. Here we go. You ready? Joey Joseph. We got Mr. Mackie Choodle. The more you drink, the more attractive they are. You got to help them get through law school. That's right. <laughs> Should I send in first edition Dark Colbat? Yes. Went to a strip club, but we couldn't drink. We had to buy $11 bottles of water with $12 coverage. <sighs> Cover. Jesus Christ, dude. I'd be sneaking in. I'd be like the guy at the movie theater sneaking in my, my food and my drink. Do... Oh, man, you're getting tough pulls. The strippers here look like Jinx. What is this man saying about our girl Jinx? I think he's about to get the beat down. Naked mom, Mr. TCC has naked women in the closet. What? All right. Oh, Joey Joseph, you need this to be hot. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. You got the Pikachu VMAX on the very last card, dude. Very good. Dallas has some nasty strippers, says Moly. Fwee titties. You come, you, you go over there and you're like, you got any fwee whipples? Oh, no. Joey Joseph. Let's see what we got for Joey Joseph. That last pack, though, huh? Last pack luck. Here we are. Oh, you pulled an Age of Slash as well. Forgot about that. Okay, here we go. Something's not right. So I think he's thin here on the left. And I think he's slightly fatter on the bottom. Uh, but he's very close. He's either a 9 or a 10. He's got clean corners. Oh, gosh, man, this is really borderline. So, Joey Joseph, this is borderline. Maybe try it out. This is clearly off-center. It's tilted like that. Uh, it will come back a 9. Funny enough, I think you would still make a profit margin on it. I have a suspicion Age of Slash is going to be popular. That's probably a 10. Probably a 10. <laughs> Ron Dudu. Um, don't grade this. Gorgeist. Well, this is like a PSA 100. But uh, they won't accept my signature. Marshadow Machamp. I see white edges up here. That's a pity. Oh, that's brutal, man. I would tell you to grade it, but it's going to be like a 9, but it could actually be an 8, which would mean no profit. You would just, you'd be wasting time and money on the grade. I mean, you could send it in anyways. Still kind of cool. How about this guy? Yeah, he's going to be thin here on the left. Okay. Keep him in this. Did you know you can actually grade him while he's still in this pack? It's kind of like grading a booster pack. So since he's off center here, he might be better off graded still in the pack. That's probably what I'll do with mine. Oops, let's flip it around. There we go. Pierce. Oh, Pierce is so close, but he's kind of tilted as well. He's thin here. And you could tell he's not right here either on the top part and this side here. So he's tilted. You could probably try Pierce. Oh, this is pretty clean. I think peeking... Oh, how about the front? Yeah, this has a shot. Here's another boss's orders. The boss's orders very clearly off-center here on the side, so that's a nine. Frost Moth. Off-center. Um, funny enough, a nine is actually still worth grading. Jirachi, Japanese. Yep. How about Cursola? Oh, man. So this is ever so slightly tilted. This is borderline. The Cursola is borderline. Manaphy, off-center. Shining Lugies. You're going to grade this card. This card's doing insanely well. Oh, you know, but I should give it a grade. I was going to say, it's not going to be a 10. Yeah, white dot right there. And slightly off-center. So probably like an 8. That card does ex exceptionally well, the Lugia. Thin on this edge here. 
probably a nine. I think you still make money on that as a nine. So you got a lot of nines that are going to make you money. It's just a ditto. Who cares, man? <laughs> yep, this looks like it has a chance at a 10. I would definitely grade one of these as well. Might be off center, though. I think the uh, the right side of the card, I think, might be fatter. I'll set it there. Would I test it? I would test it. Because that's easy money. Charizard sell. Dreadnought. Off center. Radicate. Do you care? You do care because he's actually well centered. Of course you got a well centered Radicate. That's exactly how it goes. Here's a Pidgey. He's fat on the top. Pretty clean on the back though. Not too bad. Slight edge wear on the corners here. I mean, you could always grade vintage. So you could grade this if you wanted. Um, even if it came back eight, somebody would probably buy it. That's the funny thing. That's a rare vintage, right? So, okay. My first kiss was at a strip club, he says. Oh, no. Oh, no, he did not say that. Okay, lots of stuff that will grade nine or maybe lucky ten. Lots of nines. Like, this would be a lucky 10 if you get a 10 on that. There you go, mister. Not bad, actually. Mostly good news. Let's see what's next. It's Lumberjack. How far are we? We're heading toward three hours? He says, one round of Sun and Moon base, one Japanese All-Star. I have a question. I have two Japanese Pikachu PSA 10s. One has a 15 stamp on a little Pika outline. The other just has a little... Let me click on this. I have two Japanese Pikachu cards. What does this mean? Thank you, mister. One has the little Pika bottom right of the card. What does this mean? Um, those, so those sound like vintage cards is what it sounds like. And they're probably just from various like old promotional sets. Like you had the Squirtle Venusaur. I'm sorry, you had the Squirtle Bulbasaur set. So that would have a little Squirtle. That would have a little Bulbasaur. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you without seeing it though. $66 grade for the Ron Doo Doo? Oh, yeah. No, that's a $20 grade. All right, so let's see. Let's get you the Sun and Moon base. We got to open a fresh box of Sun and Moon. It's our last box of Sun and Moon, actually. Oops. I'll, I'd rather waste my money at the bars. What? The strip club, is that what we were talking about? It's always fun to talk about things like that. Strip clubs. How about when you go driving on vacation and as you get to the outskirts, there's always like those arcades or whatever, the porn arcades. Do people really go to those anymore? It's so weird, man. Like, you know there's naked girls online and it's free, right? You're aware of that, right? Okay, so he says... One Japanese All-Stars, huh? I'm always like, honey, let's go. <laughs> the porn DVD <laughs> stores. Yeah, right? Like, it's weird. It's just weird. The sex shops have glory holes. Do they really, though? Like, if I go to one, will I actually see a glory hole area? That's crazy. So, one Japanese All-Star, one round Sun and Moon base. Okay, I think that's it. I think I did that right. Lumberjack, let's see what you got. Probably a dude. Sneep. Sounds dangerous. Sounds dangerous for both people. You need to go to a glory hole and get a bunch of diseases, man. I always bring a drill to my sex shops in case they don't. Oh my god, dude. Could you check PayPal because I ordered a spot in the medium? No problem, but, uh, you know, there's a long wait time tonight, so you might just have to keep waiting, is it? it you might just be waiting your turn. We got Lone Grimer. Hey, mister, what are these PSA pre-sales? So it's a new idea. Basically, it's for people who they'd like to sell their card before it's done grading. And so the first person to do that right now is Lucario. He has a 
Test tube Mewtwo from Shining Legends out to grade. We're expecting a nine. Doesn't mean you're gonna guaranteed get a nine, but we're expecting a nine. And so we have a game running where you can win his Mewtwo ahead of time and I'll scratch his name out and place your name on the submission list. So now his Mewtwo that's out to grade is your Mewtwo. Do you see? We call it a pre-sale. Dragonite, look at that Dragonite. So Sun and Moon base was completely cold. Apologize for that. Why does it burn when I pee? And for this pack, we have Mewtwo. It's Mewtwo GX. Here, I'll toss the whole thing in. Pre-grade game. That's right. Uh, we have another guy who would like to do that with us. It's, uh, who is it? Frygod? Frygod's trying to have me do it as well. We're, we're going to wait for the Tenzin box and for, well, at least the Tenzin box needs to finish up before I post another game. He says, so would you send us the money? Exactly. Uh, I send you the money after it's done. So after the custom booster game is done, I send you the money. Here it goes. Mister, what's your favorite Pokemon generation? Gen 1. I'm a Gen 1-er. All the way. And apparently, so is everyone else. I mean, Charizard, right? What's a Tenzin box? This is the Tenzin box. It is a box full of Pokemon cards, valuable Pokemon cards, probably worth about $200.00. Uh, and you don't know what's inside it. It's, this is the last one we'll ever have because he doesn't... Well, actually, he's talking about sending me vintage stuff, huh? So anyways, we'll, we're getting this sold off, and that's it. Pretty interesting, huh? Lumberjack's done. Steven's College Fund. What's up, man? He says, Tag Team All-Stars. Woohoo! Alex PSX never missed a late night. Alex. Alex, 100% activity. Hello, mister. It's -a me, Yamario. What's up, Luke Army Army? Do you got... Oh, what do we got here? Check it out. Nice. So you got the full art. It's the Texas guy, though. I don't know how I feel about the Texas guy. Perfect attendance. You have perfect attendance. Here's the Mew. All right. Sweet. Steven's College Fund. Let's go find your bag. I know you're back here. Here we are. Oops. Come on now. Oops. Come on now. This one wants to fall out as well. When does Shiny Star V arrive? Oh my mother freaking God. Now uh, I'm gonna ban this guy. He is banned. Please stop. I'm gonna lose my mind. Mistle, you got Shiny Star? Who's next? It's PMPJCD. He wants one Vivid Voltage, three for 19, one Darkness Ablaze. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna fall over in my own chair. <laughs> Woohoo! Two, three. And here's the darkness. One, two, three. What is my favorite Pokemon? Pokemons! Mistle, you got any Pokemons? Here it goes. Sneak. Sneak. The bee bit my bottom. Do you have a permanently enlarged bottom? Because the bee sting. What happened to Alex? Just joined. Let's get that large going. I want my dreams to be crushed. <laughs> Ooh, Galarian Darmanitan. Very good. Here's a green back. Three, four. What do we got here? We've got Manectric. Two, three, four. Oops. Is Aegislash. That took ages. 
All right, so you got pretty good pulls out of three packs. Let's try the Darkness Ablaze. There's the Eternatus VMAX. Wow, you're doing pretty good so far. Four packs, three pulls. I mean, Jesus. Is this where they're all hiding? All the pulls are hiding right here. What's up, NRG? He says, I see you here. That's crazy. Sweet. <laughs> I go live quite a lot. I go live um, all seven days of the week. I go live. Did you guys know that? I don't take a single day off. And I've been doing that for since July, beginning of July. So we're heading we're heading up on a full half year, right? That doesn't sound right. Full half year. We're heading up on a half year. PMP JCD. New bag. Not bad, man. TCC grinding. You cannot deny that I am grinding. It's wigged. I tell my wife, you ever seen a Charizard this big? And she says, wow, I want a divorce. <laughs> you took a night off the other day. Technically, I did. I agree. However, consider this. I did do the lunchtime stream, so we didn't miss... We didn't miss consecu consecutive days for streaming, technically. And and that's why I allowed it, by the way, because otherwise I would have gone through with it. I ain't never seen two pretty best Charizards. That's the perfect phrase for this right here, by the way. I ain't never seen two pretty best Charizards. Mm. Who's this? I think this one's mine. This is Maha's Forest now, huh? Okay, next up we have Lumberjack who wants to spot the medium. It's Lumberjack. He says, wait, show us that Misty card. What Misty card? It's God King Lunar. What's up, man? He says, I'd like a round of the Cosmic and a Hidden Fates bag. Ooh. Where am I? Pokemon, Pokemon. The Zards are protecting Misty. That's right. And a hidden pack. All right, let me go find a pack that's hiding. Oh, you mean a hidden face pack? Huh? Shiny Star Fee? Misty! Mesto, you got any shiny style? My mommy said we got shiny style now. It came out in Japan one day ago. You got it? He's probably got it. He's a YouTuber. YouTubers always get it early. Thank you very much, God King Lunar, for saying new bag. New bag. Who dis? Buy up all the jinx off the market. You're saying you got it then, mister? YouTuber privilege. We give <laughs> we give Fortnite Focus some YouTuber privilege the other day, didn't we? He coming in with the big bucks. He buying a lot of XY evolutions. He's going to get the YouTuber privilege. Simple. Simple. The winners keep winning. You got the stuff, man. That's a man in the alleyway speak. All right, here we go. I was talking to, uh, I said hi to Sam on uh, Instagram, and he was showing off his collection. He's got a really nice, large collection going already. Look at that. First pack, that's what we like to see. Megalopunny and Wig, uh, Jigglytuff. Jigglypuff. Can't speak. Yeah, he picked up a lot of Watsy cards. And he said he sent them all off to grades, so I hope he gets some good grades. Gallade. Another influencer in the market, man. That's great. That Again, that's probably going to drive up the cost of the cards. And if you happen to already have a bunch of cards, it's really good for you. Damn, dude, what is this, what's this snipe? You got a full art and a hyper, or an ultra rare. And then what do we have here? 
God King Winner just walks right in and says, I'll take both of those in three packs. But the Hidden Fates is cold. Oh, well. What is the Misty's flavor? Uh, it tastes like anchovy, just like you would expect. All right, throw this over here. She is a water type after all. So God King Leonard, does he have a bag? No, I'm just kidding. I know you don't have one. Let's get a new bag. Tens is the Alpha. <laughs> okay. Do not disrespect Tenzenberg. He will snap your little neck. Doo doo doo. God. Mister, I need shiny King. star V in my life. Mister, do you have it? Mister. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? My body needs it. My body needs it. <laughs> Give it to me, Joey. You do not. You do not need it. You don't need it. Snow Walruses, one medium, one all stars, one champions, one hidden fates, and PayPal's trying to log me out again. God damn PayPal, stop it. So let's get that medium. I think that fills it up. Here you go, Snow Walrus. Snoo. Is it Snow Walrus or Snoo Walrus? Maybe it's been Snoo this whole time. I just didn't know. I just didn't Snoo. Maybe I just didn't Snoo. Best pack to buy that you'd recommend? Um, Steam Siege. Man, these questions are too easy. Can I get a tough question for once? Jesus. Thank you so much for becoming a member, by the way, NZ Razingon. If you guys want a Pokeball next to your name and access to the Poke Emojis, consider becoming a member. Here we go. Yeah, this is a modern set. Okay, let's see. Oops. Picking up the Venusaur. Where's that Charizard, man? We need the Shining Charizard. And then how about this pack? Someone's actually going to buy a Steam Siege box again if you keep... <laughs> Loving that Steam Siege. Man, we'll make the price go up all by ourselves. You watch. All by ourselves. Oops. Okay, gold? Mm, not golden. That's too bad. All right, we got Marshadow Machamp. We want to see that gold card pop out. Snow Walrus. Oof. Shaking the whole table over here. Dude, you're ready for a shipping. Your car, your pack is really large. Here's your tough question. Do you want kids? I want kids, but I don't want to have to raise them because I'm lazy. So I have to hire a maid. And then that way I can double my child output because I'll have a wife and a maid. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying things. True things. Let's go ahead and try this medium out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You know, there's wives and then there's girlfriends. No respecting man would, would lack one or the other. I'll race them for vintage Pokemons, he says. Okay, here we go. Steam Siege and a little square box. Kids suck. They want to play with your Pokemon. <laughs> well, you know, if you gave them PSA cards, I suppose they couldn't hurt them, right? So uh, just grade your cards and then hand them off. Be like, all right, we got to send them off to grade. And then when they come back, put them in a little PSA sleeve. Your kid can play with them at that point and they can't hurt them. Huh? Big brain. He says that's probably not true, mister. Well, I mean, if they take like a hammer to them, yeah, that wouldn't be true. Give them the code cards. They throw them into the pool. I'm pretty sure the PSA sleeves are waterproof. The, uh, the PSA cases, they're waterproof. They can they can break the PSA cases. That's true, but again, like, uh, I just think that it will be much harder for them to break it. 
give them bulk. Well, that's what you do. You guys want me to make some bulk packs for your kids for Christmas? I can do that. Cheap ones. Full of lots of bulk. Landing on eight. Maybe with like a guaranteed uh, GX or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I really just don't do it because it's not worth my time. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Pack number one. Sorry, Eddie. The Gimp. The Gimp. What'd you get, the Gimp? That's the box. It's over on two. Congratulations, the Gimp. Is the Gimp here? The Gimp. Now, somebody won Steam Siege, so we got to find that as well. Toss this over here. Number three, four, five, six. Krishamas. Shang Dang. Shang Dang. Paul Bradley. Joey Horton. Big T. Big T. DA. Awesome cameras. Snorlax V. Lawler. I am Gigabyte. Nerdy Noob. Tony Q. Lumberjack. Wow, I made it all the way over. Oh, there we go. Lumberjack. Lumberjack getting the Steam Siege. All right. What do you think of that, kitty? Look at her. <laughs> she sees it getting thrown away. It's late here in Texas. That's okay. You guys are Texas tough. So let's get the Steam Siege. You ready? Two Steam Siege, mister. Mister. He says, yay, Cream Siege. Can I grade the pack? Uh, you can... No. <laughs> We're opening them. Deal with it, Lumberjack. Opening only. I'll let you buy a sealed pack, but we're opening these. We are opening these, mister. Those, them's the rules that I just made up. Talon Flame Break. Woohoo! And another green back. Nuzzleaf. All right. You actually got a hit from that. Technically, that's a hit card. You are Pokey Break Rich. One day, the break cards are going to be trending. They're going to be the in-style pokey card to have. The people will be like, did you get your break Lugia? And you'll be like, oh my god, I should have got it when it was $2. Now we need to start a fresh medium. All right, no more orders, guys. We're at the end of the night. I'm going to fulfill all the remaining orders, but don't make any new ones. Because we're, we're shutting down at three hours. I'm not going to sit on my back any further than that because it's not healthy. I've been learning that the hard way. Pokey tired. I am tired, actually. It's the end of the night for me. So, we move on to Nerdy Noob. I have a box, one round of Vivid, and one Hidden Face. All right. And one Hib. Have you ever graded cards through GMA? No, I've never had that. Sneep. And... Sneep. Custom Booster Large is how many packs? What's up, Pokemon Opener? Should I buy Evolution Booster Box? Um, Should you? I don't know. We got Zorua. Sweet. What the... Oh, there was another card behind it. Jesse and James Full Art. Nice. It was stuck. It's weird. Okay, next pack. We like to see those hot packs. Amazing rare? Not amazing. Here's a white pack, though. That's just a regular hollow. So you got a white pack, but it was a hollow. How about here? Ooh, picking up the Charizard. All right, you got Charizard. That's definitely better than straight cold packs. He says fake? 
That's right. It's all fake and resealed. It's fake. Nerdy noob, where do we put your bag? I feel like every time I open up YouTube, you're always live. That's right. We're always busy. Here we are, nerdy noob. I have a pokey printing press. Dude, those scammers out there who are scam who are printing like fake cards for vintage boxes, those guys got some kind of card printing press and they've stolen thousands of dollars from people. It's Lawler. He says six vivid voltage and I'm done after this. All right, you got it, mister. You think you're done. Have I heard about GMA? Yeah, I've heard about GMA. What do you think, kitty? Oh, I got sneeze, man. Have I seen the Japanese Illustrator card? Yeah, I've seen it. I'm not impressed, to be honest. Sleep. How to work for PSA. You say, hey, PSA, can I work for you? Let me know if you get my order of the medium and the steam seed sacrifice. I probably uh, will. Any idea on the value of PSA 10 Mewtwo Reverse Hollow from XY Evo? Uh, you know... I know the value of some cards, but I'm not a literal cyclopedia, encyclopedia. Look at that, Loyler. Picking up the Rayquaza. Very nice. You know, if he pulls a 10, he's probably going to go for a good amount. Wait. I'm supposed to be sorting these. Whoops. Just toss this up now. I'll tell my wife, oopsie daisy. She's the one that cleans up the bulk, not me. Isn't that nice? I do the live stream. She likes to she likes to do stuff with her hands sometimes, though, something that doesn't take any thinking. That's because she works on, like, software all day. And it's so, like, straining. Apparently, it's really straining. Well, I remember when I was in school, it was really straining. You just use your brain. It's like doing math all day. So she likes to come over here and just use her hands to do something kind of mindless. So she likes to work on the bulk. Last pack. You ready, Lawler? Here we go. Not another... Uh, amazing rare, but you did well. You picked up that Rayquaza. I think that was a really hot pull. Pokemon opener says, um, nice. What? Can you answer my question? Uh, no, that would be improbable. What I got to wait a month for Great Ball? That's right. You got to wait for the Great Ball. It's not, it doesn't start on Great Ball by default. You got to earn it, mister. <laughs> He's like, where's my Great Ball? Take a look at this, guys. You want to see some bulk? You know, if I if I push the chair back, you get a little more of a reference, frame of reference. So here's the table. And there's the bulk. The bulk's like most of the table. Do you see that? There you go. Most of the tables just bulk. Okay. Lawler, nice job, man. Who's next? It's Draven. He says, one all-star. Also, I want to get graded. What is the difference between tier one and tier two? Uh, you... Tier 2 is only for really expensive cars. You, cards. You'll always want to do Tier 1 if possible. Can I have your weak cards? Snorlax became a member. I saw that. That's so cool. He says that bulk must be 15 feet high. It's a lot of bulk. Music about to make me fall asleep. Ah, it's Blacephalon. No luck there, that was for who, Draven? Draven, you had some better luck on your Rebel Clash, though, with the Golden Frost Moth. Very good. Looks like a scene from Wally. Mister is the Pokemon Center. Okay, next up we've got. Who do we have next? Oh, we got a refresh. Oh, wow, look at that. No more orders, guys. We're wrapping up for the night. We're at three hours. No more orders. I can see that God King Lunar put in the last order, so anything above that's just going to go into the lunch stream tomorrow, or the daytime stream. Why is Delta Species Gardevoir so expensive? Um, 
Have you seen Not Safe for Work Guard of War stuff? I mean, I simp hard for Guard of War all day. So let's see, we got Jeremy Connell. I think he sent me a message. Mistle, please have... Oh, he sent me that free Steam Siege. Thank you very much. Oh, that was a while ago, so you guys have been waiting a while for your turn. Next up, we have Jordan Jimenez, and he wants a round of Vivid Voltage. All right, and he says, I don't have a bag. Sounds good. Mister, I went to grade. I asked in the PayPal, what is the difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2? Um, the main difference is if your cards are really expensive, you have to use Tier 2. Otherwise, I always recommend Tier, tier 1 because it's cheaper. And if you want really fast grading, you use Express. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Ooh, this is going to be tough, man. He just pulled the Rayquaza. I'm not expecting a lot of hot cards out of this round. Let's see what happens. Three, four. Zorora. Oh, no. What's this? Here's a greenback. Here's a greenback. Three, four. Is Puchina. And a final greenback. Three, four. Flareon. So I had a feeling that was about to happen. <laughs> I saw the Charizard come out for Nerdy Noob, and I saw Lawler pick up the Rayquaza. I thought that round was going to be cold for sure. It had to have been. Sorry, Jordan. Jordan, better luck next time, mister. Now we have Tenzenberg. He says one medium. All right, Tenzenberg on the medium. Will I open a Poke Museum? Probably not. All right, I'm opening a Poke Museum. Cut one Steam se Siege. Don't show the code card. Okay. Uh, hmm. The code card's in the front, I believe. What card am I throwing out? I'm throwing out the... I'm throwing out the shiny Charizard. All right, here they are. So Tenzenberg has sentenced this steam pack to Sneep. We're gonna do it the James Bond style. Any last words, James Bond? Sneep. He says, do it so I can win. All right, Steam Pack. Oh, it was a white bag, actually. It was a hollow clean clang. Clink clang. There we go. Very good. Lucario says, one spot in the medium. Your name can't just be Lucario, unfortunately. We're going to go with your real name. Lucario is too simplistic of a name. We actually also have somebody named Lucario. Cyrus says, can I get one Champions, one Siege, and a Bulk Box? All right, Bulk Box, huh? Let's see. Something like this. <laughs> it's leaning way over. Who's this for? This is for Shang Dang. All right, Shang Dang. You got a book box for a while. I hope you make use of it. When you put yourself into the Please Ship channel, be sure to mention that you have a book box and that you want your, you know, you're using it, you're redeeming it or whatever, you know, you're having your book shipped out. 11, 21, 20. Places behind me. We have some spots open up on the shelf, actually, believe it or not. Okay, he wants one champions. And one Steam Siege. Another thing is, you always have to tell me that you have a bulk box. Bulk box. Sleep. We are now past three hours. Yeah, we gotta wrap up. I wanna start ending my live streams at exactly two hours and three hours. Oops, hold on. You bring this back. There we go. So, Steelix, Spirit Link, and Ampharos. 
And for your champion's path, Santa Scorch Marnie. Oof. Shang. Shang dang. Okay. Actually, I get your box right behind me. I'll go put it in there right now without writing your name on it. Just mode. Next up, we have Big Mac. Can I please get a round of Vivid Voltage? One Champion's Path. One Tag Team All-Star. Travioli, Travioli, give time the form muoli. Sneep! Is this the last one? That's right, it's the last one. It's the final countdown. Would PSA grade a code card? I don't know. They really ought to. They really ought to if you requested. I think that'd be funny as hell. But nobody's willing to spend the money to try it, you know? Somebody actually paid money to try and uh, have a cut card graded. So we're going to find out more about that. I think they'll reject it. Don't you guys think they'll reject it? But if you have both sides of the card, it seems possible that they could say, all right, we're giving it a one. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. That's right. He didn't have a box, right? Big Mac? You ready, Big Mac? That's also a green. Ooh, what are we going to pull? <sighs> I'm sorry. Big Mac, I'm sorry. Those Vivid Voltage were cold. But maybe you'll get lucky on this Champion's Path. Three, four. Oh, okay. You got a full art grapple locked. Nice, nice. Golden card? No, you got wishy-washy. No full art at all. Wishy-washy is a little bit of a cold round. I like the grapple locked at least. Yeah, it was a cold round. The Vivid Voltage is what killed it, in my opinion. Okay. Big Mac is probably up here. Brian. Cirque fan. Katie. Can PSA grade credit cards? Can they? That's a good question. Huh, I can't find your bag. Let's see. Big Mac, I wonder if you're going to be up top or down low. I know you haven't ordered in a little while, so you probably got pushed back to the back of one of these boxes. Alpha, Arvond. Wow, we got some old cards in here. CBY, Bright 5, Clayton. Tosses up here. And let's check down here now. Can PSA grade a gift card? Oh, yeah. He says, last time I remember, I was down low. Oh, thank you. That's all I have left to look through, though. So, Abysma, Cirque Fan, Brado, Antonio, <laughs> Cameron... Big Mac, we found you. You're right there. Woohoo! That wasn't too long ago. Okay, what's next? Now we have God King Lunar. I would like two All Stars packs. All Stars packs, presumably with a full art Cherry Zard, right? Can PSA grade homework just based on the condition of the actual paper? That's right. PSA 10 homework. You ready? Nice. You got the full art lightning energy with your Zorora. Very good. And... Dust Noir. We got the Dust Noir Trevenant. 
Anyone pull a shining rainbow's art? Toss this over here. God King Lunar, huh? Here we are. Can PSA grade my paycheck? Okay. Mohi says, leave right now, Travioli. You're a disgrace. <laughs> what? I'm going to go ahead and refresh just to see if we missed anything. You guys can go start guessing your numbers in the... Oh, there's a new channel. It's not general chat anymore. It's not general chat anymore. So you'll want to come over to... It's called the Giveaways Channel. It's called the Giveaways Channel. So you'll need to go to the Giveaways Channel to make your guess now. It's not the general chat anymore. We do the Giveaways Channel. And that's because I kept forgetting to unlock the general chat. So make your guess between 1 and 100. The Giveaways Channel. Uh, in the meantime, I believe Draven here has made an order. And I'm, I'm just going to get it done real fast. Draven says, PSA Tier 1, please, and Darkness Ablaze. I don't know what you want me to grade, Draven. Draven, what are you trying to grade? Draven, here are your Darkness Ablaze packs. Let's see what Draven gets. That's a green. Alex, you're too funny, man. You ever hear messing with people, Alex? Draven! Where's Draven? Draven, what did you want me to grade? That's Flaffy. Oops. What's up, Miss Dinklebot? We're shutting down right now. Okay, toss this over here. <laughs> Tinkle Box says, damn it, I'm sorry. We've been live for three hours, and I'm not going to let myself live stream much longer anymore because uh, I think it's very unhealthy for my back to be sitting for so long. Okay, so Draven. Draven, I have a card here for you. I just don't know what it was you wanted to grade. Um, so we'll leave this on the table. You can tell me that in discord what you wanted to grade let's go find out who the winners are in the giveaways channel all right hmm so pw wheat straw you're out of the game for multi-guessing so is PMP, JCD. You guys are out of the game. You're not allowed to multi-guess. Let's open up the number generator. Move this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and lock the giveaways channel now. You guys have had lots of time to guess. Okay, it's all locked up. We're going to go over to number generator and find out what the winning number is. 56. All right. I'm going to set you back down while I look through this. Tendenberg says, I won it. Did you really? Tendenberg has 54. Well, let's see. So Tendenberg's 54. That's very close. Somebody would have to have 55 or 56 to beat you. I think you're right. Yeah, you got it. Woohoo! He says rig. <laughs> Rigged. Here <laughs> you go, Tenzelberg. Woohoo! This is Tenzelberg's redemption arc. He decides when he wins the medium, he opens Champion's Path. Pulls a Charizard VMAX and then grades it and it comes back a 10. <laughs> All right, we need to guess another number. It's wind! <laughs> I 
18. Let's see who grabbed an 18. Okay, let's see. Why not has 13? NJ has 16. Deadman has 17. Senza has 18. However, Senza is out of the game for double guessing. So Deadman has 17. And it looks like it's going to go to Deadman. Yeah, Senza, you would have won on your first guess, but you guessed multiple times. So you, you got knocked out of the game. Here we go. It's one guess. Where? How do I spell his name? Dead man fifty five. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, guys. It really does help. We're trying to get to uh, twelve thousand subscribers. Okay, so please consider hitting the subscribe button for me. We're going to be live tomorrow again, of course, and we'll keep opening up the Pokemon cards. And no, I don't have Shiny Star. Not yet. So I'll see you guys there. Have a nice night. Sounds good, Tezenberg.